live music. You guys want to um, uh, go on mute for a second while our friend here tells us what their her favorite bug is. This is my cousin. This is cousin Libby. <laughs> this is cousin <laughs> Libby. Yeah. And um, you guys want to mute for a sec? Are you talking to me? Yes. Yeah. So okay. mute for a sec so, so cousin Libby can uh, share with us her, her favorite bug. Okay, I'll see if we can. Let's get the earphones. I'll mute them. I muted them. Oh, so there. Libby, you there? Hey, Liz. Yeah. Good yeah. to see you, girl. How are Thank you? Thank you. Yeah, praying mantis. When I was yeah. 12 years old, we went, to, we lived in France, as you know, but we went to Morocco and there was a guy making things, little things, and he said, What do you want? And I said, A praying mantis, and I still have it. 1959. Oh. Well, what made you ask for that? You little girl from. I just liked it. I just I always thought they're exotic looking. What's your favorite bug? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, Andrew has a story about praying mantis because okay. it's a very divine being with the Bushmen of the Kalahari. If you were to Google this phrase, mantis and his friends. Okay, let me let me write it down. Mantis and his friends. Okay, I gotta have um, spell the first word. M a n t i s, mantis. Like praying. Oh, mantis. Mantis. Mantis, mantis and, and his friends. Oh, okay. And he is. The Dutch used to call mantis the Hottentots hot. In other words, the Hottentots god, the Bushman's god. He's not really oh. a god, but he's a spirit being. He's a deity of the Kalahari Bushman. Oh, cool. The world's oldest people, and they are still alive in Africa. I took, when I first met Connie, I took her and introduced her to the Bushman. Okay. I should go get it and show it to you. Yeah, do. Oh, that'd be All right. I'm going to do that. Okay. Ida. Ida was just calling me. Uh huh. I thought I said yes. So it's seven o'clock. There's Oriana looking wish. like it's summertime down there. <laughs> it's getting chilly up here. We're on the East Coast. We're on the Atlantic Ocean. It's starting to get colder. Ida, we're, yes. can you join us online? Yes. Oh, good. Well, come online because we're on. Uh, we have some friends from Tucson on and my cousin. From Maine. From Maine. Perfect. And we'll Perfect. see you then. See you there. I can out. I can out. Come along, out. my darling. Bye. Bye, Bye Ida. Mm. So we're having a little, oh, look, yes, there's Lorraine. Lorraine. Yay. We're having a little chat about the praying mantis and the divine attributes of the praying mantis. You want to 
go on about the praying mantis for those who are well let's let a few more people come along here she is oh, hey. there she is hello yay look let's see him i gotta oh, get the light praying mantis there's man oh, oh there my he gosh is. he's there's beautiful mantis. He's he's actually quite small, as you can see by my. Mm. Wow, wow! Yeah. Look, that's a praying mantis. Um, yeah, and then, and then when people know that you like something, then they give it to you, right? Oh wow! Oh, there you got another one. There so, uh -huh. hold up the first one again. All right, wait a minute. Where where are you? How tiny is he? Um, only about five inches. Okay. Let's see, Mantis. Let's see, there he is. Yeah, he's a very sacred being of the Kalahari Bushmen. Look, I never knew that. So yeah, look okay, it up thank and you. let him bring his gifts to you. All right, and for those I'm ready. Who don't know, um, the Mantis is one of the most sacred creatures in, 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 the, in human mythology, if you will. I um, have no idea. Yes, and if you go yes. and Google simply the phrase mantis and yep. his friends, yep, I got you it. You have been introduced to some of the wackiest stories you've ever heard. I mean, okay. are, <laughs> this um, is mantis hallucinogenic to the max. I mean, it's another reality. <laughs> okay, this is, praying, this is mantis and mantis. the Kalahari Bushman. Hi, Judy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi, Judy. And, and Ida. there's Ida. Oh, our good Hi. Friend, Ida. Happy birthday. So Happy here birthday. we have. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to see you all. And I know you're all popping in. So mm -hmm. anybody want to offer their, their favorite bug? <laughs> I will. Yes, Ida. All right, Ida. I started. I started with a dung beetle because I thought he was just way cool, Ooh. but I ended up ended up with a cicada because oh. I used to collect their shells as a child. And then the more I read about them, the more mysterious they seemed because they would hang out with the tree roots, and some come up in five years, seven years, some seventeen years, and sometimes they became a mushroom. I just thought they were cool. And, then when they did come alive, they sang, they had sex, they laid eggs, and they died. <laughs> Sounds like a great life to me. I know. I know. Why drag it out? Yeah. <laughs> so here we are. Birthday, Connie. Oh, oh look who's here. Uh, Hi. And... Wait, I gotta change my name. Well, Hi. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. And uh, my sister Judy's on. And uh, hey. friend Lorraine from a new friend Hi. in the West Hampton. Not so new. We met at Sunrise Ranch. But we didn't, we I just know. met. And now <laughs> we're becoming like this. Yeah. Here we are in West Hampton. And Sandy is an old friend. Well, medium old friend. And I is a pretty new friend. And my sister Judy, I mean, since I was eight years old right. because she was Libby? born then and, and cousin, cousin Libby, Libby is my pal that I grew up with in oh. Maine and Oriana and Randall are on but they're in a restaurant in Tucson they're so they'll be out, in and out they're going to sing us a song I think so I'm they're going to song. I'm sorry so who wants to offer their we've got praying mantis oh look who's and, there. and cicada cicada and who else? And there's Janice Hall hey, from Janice. Florida, long term friend. Well, I, I, I have to, yeah, I have to say here real quickly that oh. we were just at, at the lake on a having a picnic, and Randall saw a pre, uh, mantis, wasn't it? Right. Pre mantis yeah. on the way home, and I saw a circadia. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Well, they're circadia. with us tonight. She's gonna take a break, so let's do this right now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we have a special okay, treat. So these guys are in between breaks of this musician who's in background. Yeah. So special treat for you, Connie. Oriana so here we go. Hold Ryan. on a second here. Happy so. birthday to you. Happy birthday. Randall, we need to see you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear Connie. Happy birthday to you. Face, Randall. Where is that handsome Where is dude? That handsome dude? There, he there he is. is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, here it is. Remember, everybody. 
from everybody. Yay! 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 There we go. Wait, here. My no. mom wanted wanted no. to sing. Too, no, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mama. Uh, she's ready. You ready for her? She wanted to sing, so she didn't get ready. My daughter Allison has joined us. The Happy new bride. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Connie. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> we love Mom. And we love you. Love you all. How nice to share a little time with you. Happy birthday and all the blessings that go with it. Well, oh, thank, thank you, you, Mom. We appreciate she knows, it. She knows birthdays, too. She said 92 of them. All right. <laughs> you know birthdays. Well, let's hope we all get that many. You know, it, it's just a number. Yeah. There you are. Hey, hey, Mom, what's your favorite bug? Hey, Mom, what? what's your favorite bug? Your favorite? Bug? She doesn't like any bug. Did you say bug? <laughs> bug, yeah. As in, as in creepy things? Yeah. Yeah. Creepy what's thing? your favorite creepy thing? No. No, no I like you must birds, have one. Squirrels. I, I like all the animals in the zoo. But, oh, creepy things? No. No, creepy things? <laughs> no, I don't like bugs. <laughs> uh, well, we won't tell the bugs that. Yeah. We, don't don't we they won't kill tell the bugs, bugs that because, you know, we, we are all one. Bugs. Mom, you know, we're all one consciousness <laughs> and those bugs. You know, They're part of us. Yeah. They might take offense to what you. Molly, there's a lot of pain. Is that Lisa? I Ali. They are. Hey, is my relative, but I need to hear from um my sister Judy as to what her favorite bug is. Oh, well, that's easy for me. Oh, somebody needs to mute because you got some background noise. Just saying. Yeah, so uh, we, can do, we can do that. Uh, we yeah. can mute. Well, I don't know it's you. It's probably somebody who's got some background noise because, of course, I need to be heard. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Happy birthday, sis. Thank you, dear. Yay. And I'll always be younger than her. It's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, but I always look older than her. She always looks fabulous, doesn't she? I mean, truly. Um, Connie time doesn't time. age. I don't think they can hey, change. I've had wrinkles all my, all for decades. I've had all these wrinkles. They just don't show when I'm face on. So I can <laughs> face on and smile a lot. Mm. And they don't show. So. And Judy, well, what's your favorite bug, girl? Favorite bug? My favorite bug is a butterfly. Uh huh. Butterfly. butterfly. I bet even mom might like a butterfly. Mom, mom's favorite. She loves butterflies. That's oh, she's got them all over the house. So you think you got to think bug broadly, you know? So a butterfly does all kinds of things. It has metamorphosis, and it can be so much and contributes so much and. And and spirits ride on butterflies. So butterflies mean life. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. There's a bug that we all yeah. love. Mm. Yeah. Is that a pilgrim hat or a or a uh, witch's hat? That's that looks more like a Salem hat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see the top of it, so we weren't sure yeah. if it was pointed. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your least favorite bug, Jude? Well, I was thinking about that. There aren't that many because I'm a fly fisher person and all bugs are good bugs in the fly fishing kind of world of things and all stages of bug life. But mosquitoes have a very, very, their purpose is limited and they spread disease. So I'm um, up there with mosquitoes being my least favorite bug. Uh -huh. miss you there, Judy. They don't like me that much either, so I'm quite fortunate in that regard. Me but too. I know my cousin Liz is not quite as fortunate with me that. Me too. They love me. Boy, do they love me. They love Andrew so much. That's because you're sweet. You're, you're sweet. Yeah, Andrew. look who's here. Robbie and Roshana. Uh -huh. Oh, look, there's Ingrid from Sedona and, and Robbie and Roshana hi. from Loveland. Over here. And Sandy. Sandy, what's your favorite bug? 
So is this a Baxter family tradition to name family bugs for your birthday? No, you <laughs> Listen, I was, I was just thinking about what could I would do in a Zoom call to keep everybody happy. Oh. All of a sudden it came to me, well, ask them what their favorite bug is. And like, that is oh. so great. And I'm sitting, <laughs> I've honestly been, from. I love I it. I've been struggling. From. I've been struggling. What's my favorite? I mean, how can you pick one or, or two? But first thing I wanted to say was ladybug, but then you, how can we not say the bees? The bees. Mm -hmm. oh. not love the bees. But mosquitoes love me too. They will mm -hmm. eat me alive. You know. It's only the it's only the females that bite. By the way, they're taking blood back to their babies. Oh, oh. That's a, so I'm serving a purpose for them. <laughs> oh well, then it can't be that bad. I guess give and take, but yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Connie! Thank you, Sandy, and thanks for all your great work with compassion. Right, compassionate cities and things as yours. Oh. I'm not doing that much of that as much as I am our women, you know, working on these. Anyway, well, all of you, everybody here. Yes, Liz, were you raising your hand, Liz? Oh, she said goodbye. My cousin uh -huh. said goodbye. Oh, she jumped off. So, okay. yeah, everybody here is bringing such <laughs> gifts to the world. And let's see, what do we, who do we need to hear from? Who wants to say next what their favorite bug is? I'll say my favorite bug is John Lennon. <laughs> He's a what? He's a oh, I get R R R R. That's pretty good, Andrew. Okay. That's pretty good. You have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite bug okay. is the Jesus bug. What? Oh, walks on you know water. the guy, the ones that scoot, scoot around across the water. We Peter were, bug. Oh. I call them, we call, I know what them as Jesus called? bugs because they walk on water, right? Uh -huh. And we were just at Mount Katahdin and, and on a lake and they were racing all over the place, the Jesus bugs. So I like them because I think they're really cool. Uh -huh. So there. What about you, Robin Roshana? What's yours? Well, praying mantis, just because they're so bizarre. There you go, praying mantis. Mm. And I'm going to jump on the bandwagon with mosquitoes. Uh, uh, yeah, favorite, mosquitoes are a favorite. As a, as least, a least favorite. Yeah, my the, least favorite. The, the female praying mantis eats the male. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Roshana, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like bites the head right off. I, <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> they're totally sacred beings in the Bushmen of the Kalahari. If you if you Google what Google what Mantis and his friends. If you want to read or get involved with some of the weirdest stories ever from the human species. Mantis and his friends is a collection of stories from thousands and thousands of years ago in Africa about Mantis, who is kind of the trickster deity of the of the Bushmen, and his friends, one of whom's like a giant vacuum cleaner, one's a lot like a rainbow, one's a Darcy, which is a kind of rock rabbit, and they have kids, and you can just imagine the kids. So check them out if you want to look into the <laughs> sacred aspects of that in that All right. book. All right. So Ingrid Hardy, Connie, yeah. Sedona, what's your favorite book? Connie, first of all, happy, happy birthday to you. Thank <laughs> you, sweetheart. My goodness, yeah. Well, we made it. He, he was just here walking by. <laughs> we came back. Um, favorite bug, I thought about it. And uh, um, it's my VW bug. My favorite bug. I remember. I remember Andrew meeting me in it, and in a, it was a green bug. That's right. Years and, years and years and years ago, I came. Oh, I drove I'll around the willow bug. tree <laughs> and uh -huh. and met you too. So, so many the, years ago, Ingrid was our intrepid, amazing manager <laughs> of our B and B, and oh my. God, she brought wow. us to Sedona. Sedona. Yeah, she was the reason yeah. Sedona so beautiful. Wow. Fantastic. b and b and and then the Airbnb and so forth. And then the neighbor the went on to the neighbor. <laughs> yeah, the neighbors inherited you. What lucky neighbors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we love Ingrid. 
and they changed again. <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favorite bug? Ah, oh, I thought about it, and you know, I don't really like any crawling anything. <laughs> so, well, you can join uh, mom. <laughs> mom. She doesn't like any of them either. Yeah, I just uh, yeah. I can do without bugs, really. Um, uh, yesterday I met one, or uh, and it put its butt in the in the air, and I think it's called a stink bug. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, so I didn't like that one. So, but anyway, <laughs> because if you slip on them, they let off a terrible odor. That's why they're called. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if a scorpion is a bug because that could be my least favorite. Mm. And I Sedona, know you got stung one time. I, remember I got stung that. twice in Sedona. Twice. I had to have IVs and everything in Sedona. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Scorpion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that too because there's another bug that's that's more bug-like. It's it's a wind scorpion. I don't mm. like them either. And they have these two things that just uh, stick out there and like feelers or whatever and it's in the scorpion family so yeah but are, are scorpions bugs you know and i don't know if a bee is even a bug so yeah. well there's i have to tell you but mom just realized we were both scratching <laughs> what <laughs> but we both realized we were, we were kind of scratching she says i think this conversation is making us both itchy <laughs> <laughs> We both, she said, I, she saw me scratching. <laughs> bug is generic, you know, that's a very generic thing. We've had, we've had a person included. We've had a car oh, included, true. you know, so I think we could be in the generic kind of whatever you want to talk about as a bug. Yeah, okay. I actually, so I would talk about another kind of bug. My least favorite bug right now in the world is the COVID virus yeah. you know bugging, yeah so yeah, viruses yeah. are bugs and you know bacteria are bugs and you know, so, yeah. I, i've got one in that that genre um how about i love putting a bug in somebody's ear <laughs> to influence them to their greatest self Oh, well, That's there you perfect. go. Our cosmic friend. Yeah. <laughs> Bring in our cosmic beingness, dear Robbie. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And then my, my least favorite bug would be um, anything that would bite me and kill me. <laughs> it could be specific. So, no, no. In, in yeah. Australia, they have these um, spiders. Uh, brown, a brown spider. Oh yeah. And I, I think they call them like a ten step, mm. a ten step spider. Mm -hmm. And it's like, is it a recluse? Recluse. In the, yeah. in the recluse. Brown recluse, yeah. 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 Sedona's full of all those guys, man. When mm. we moved to Sedona, oh. we went to the hospital. I said, okay, what isn't gonna kill us? Yeah, black widow. Actually, my my least favorite bug is um, remember we had that little uh, pre pandemic um, issue at the ranch. Oh God, the bed bugs! The bed bugs! The bed bugs. Oh, my, oh, that's that up did, there. That disrupted my life. I mean, I I never saw one. I never had one, but I I had to like change my whole life. And move everything out and sanitize everything because of these yeah. stupid little bugs that were down down the hallway from me. Yeah, yeah. yeah so anyway, I, I, I'd housing. never experienced that in my whole life, and I've lived all around the world. I'm just like, if I never hear that word bed bug <laughs> again, because you know I used to say, you know, hey, uh, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I never knew what that meant. And if they do and chew and, and chew. When it happens, it's like, holy sh Yeah. Mm, so you know that whole thing. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And if they do and chew and chew, that will be the end of you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, Lorraine, yeah. what's your favorite bug? Lorraine. Oh, first of all, I just want to say, Connie and Andrew, I, I looked at my um, trust frequency book that I got when I met you in Sedona. 
I mean, in uh, uh, the Sunset Sun Sunrise Sun Ranch. Mm -hmm. And um, it was actually, I was there because it was my birthday. And that's when I met you. And I didn't realize that it was 2017. Ah. That long ago. And then that we've just reconnected is like amazing. That was like a while ago already. Mm -hmm. So that was crazy. So I actually have a song and I wanted you all to join in if you want. And the words are, Cumpleaños feliz. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Querida Cani, cumpleaños feliz. Querida Cani, cumpleaños feliz. Querida Cani, cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Thank you, dear. Oh, so, and then I um one of my friends is also a photographer artist, and I I recognize that my favorite is also B because I just started not too long ago planting native plants, and I just the bees are coming. So many bees, and they love those flowers. It's like they are they get drunk with the flowers they're like on that flower and they get totally intoxicated and when you see them totally intoxicated it is so sweet you know they're just adorable and then um my worst bug is um and i have a little story is a palmetto bug and mm. i don't like those because they look like giant cockroaches and they can fly in your hair <laughs> So the, the story that goes with that is um, I lived in El Salvador for a while with my aunt and, you know, the, the people there have housekeepers. Everybody has a housekeeper and the housekeeper there, her name was Chole. And she's this big, happy, happy woman from the country, like big, big feet, like giant feet. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were like teenagers and this palmetto bug got into our room my sister and I and we were screaming because this, we were afraid it was going to fly in our hair and it was gigantic and um so we were screaming we were Charlie Charlie the palmetto bug and she came in and it landed on the floor and she always had bare giant feet and she took her foot and she went oh. so, <laughs> so that was the palmetto story wow That's i lived in pensacola florida as a kid <laughs> and then back when i was in the navy and that place is loaded with palmetto bugs yeah. and palmetto. We, we used to say that if uh you got a strong one you could ride it like a surfboard. <laughs> Ew. Awesome. Hey, I share oh, your dislike. As a southerner, we're loaded with them. Oh, we also God. just call them roaches. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was my gross. least favorite. Well. Yeah. Oh, we they're, they're, when you when you squish them, they're really squishy. Juicy. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> Connie, I have to get going pretty soon and my kids are coming over and I'm so glad to be able to get here and wish I really thought it was this morning and I was on early. Oh dear. <laughs> you got I'm me sorry. I, I left out the PM on some of the invitations. Mm. That's okay. I, w I needed to get up apparently, but I, I have to tell you that when I got onto this call, I was one of the first few, I suppose, and praying that we were talking about praying mantis. And I'm like, that's funny because I just saw possibly my very first praying mantis the other day. It was wow. on my daughter's home. 
I was just in California yesterday and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I heard praying mantis the second time on this call. So I had to, while we were talking, I had to go on and Google what is the significant, the spiritual significance of seeing, of, of a seeing a praying mantis. And um, this is one of those meaningful coincidences, coincidences that you want to just dive into a little bit. And the meaning I, I tell you, it could have been in your book, The Trust Frequency. May I read it to you now? It's very short. Certainly. That's the spiritual meaning of a praying mantis represents trust, introspection, new perspectives, intuitive abilities, and spiritual connection. It is often a sign that the energies from the dimensions are sending you a message to trust your own guidance, uh, your own inner guidance, and to be a, and to be patient, to wait for the flow of the universe to sort everything out <laughs> holy mackerel that's great maybe that's we great. should replace Very coco kind. kelly maybe we should replace coco <laughs> kelly with mantis, mantis ah. as our oh, symbol oh, thanks for that sandy that was beautiful that was great. here it is here it is so all right great. i'm wishing you the best yeah, thanks for university. popping in and sending you all my love bye andrew so good to see you nice great. to meet you all family nice, nice to meet you yeah. bye bye, bye. Yeah. bye sandy yeah, mantis in the in the kung fu world is a nice. very um, revered um, creature. A creature because of the, the the position of you know mm -hmm. it, it you know it's a praying mantis mm -hmm. and then praying. it's pretty deadly. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Are they? They are. Yeah. It'll it'll eat the guy's head off. Well, yeah, not deadly. Well, I that's <laughs> that's, a, that's the one that always sticks with me. It's like, why do they eat the guy? Yeah, like we're just trying to do our job, you know. It's like, okay, meet with me, and then I'm gonna eat your head. <laughs> Well, oh, they have control. Black widows yeah. as well. Right. Yeah, black sure. widows. I was just thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Actually, my sure. my least favorite anything is are really spiders. Yeah. I just, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I remember when I first had to catch a tarantula, and I had to do it twice in the house. <laughs> They're adorable. Actually, <laughs> actually, three times to be honest. Mm -hmm. At, at uh, in, in the house in Page Springs and at my my friend's house in Oak Creek Canyon. And uh, one time, uh, I think it was Glenda Green where I, where I worked <laughs> in the office. And but they're adorable. Uh, they're they're, they're very fragile, I know, but I just fragile. can't. Harmless, yeah. Arachnophobic yeah. sort of thing. I just don't yeah. like all the legs. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> Hey, David. David Carter himself. David. Hey, David. David. <laughs> hey. Hey. David. Happy birthday. Andrew yeah. Hey. David, this is the spiritual director of Sunrise Ranch and a good friend. <clears throat> hey, David, tell us what your favorite bug is. My favorite what? Bug. <laughs> bug? Yeah. <laughs> We're having a profound conversation here. Yes, really. <laughs> I, I did just see a, a beautiful, what looked like a green praying mantis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we just had a whole dissertation on praying mantis just now. Okay. Mantis awesome. is, is the winner so far. Mm. Okay. Yeah. He's a very sacred being of the Bushmen of the Kalahari. Oh, well. With a lot of spiritual yeah. significance, too. Yeah. Well, I had to keep. I had to keep bringing up that it eats the male after it mates. And we're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, David, what's your least favorite bug? Uh, I'm not a big fan of wasps. Oh, oh that's another good one. Good one. Good choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that. to tell you what my least favorite bug is. It's the no see -um. Oh yeah. Oh, West oh. Beach, oh yeah. My yeah. ankles are itching because there's these invisible things that just go for me like crazy. They love, oh. and I. Those are the little teeny tiny gnats yeah, that bite you. That you can't see. Yes, and they even follow you on my. They follow yeah. me on my bicycle. No you no can't seams. ride away. <laughs> oh wow. 
<clears throat> hey, Khan. Okay, Jude. Everybody, it's great to meet everybody and see everybody. Can it be nice Well, my little sister, Judy Baxter, calling in from Denver, Colorado. Oh, oh. thanks for stopping. Hello, well, everybody. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, bye. -bye. <laughs> so, nice. David, um, yeah, here we are on Sunrise Ranch's uh, Zoom account. Did you know we were here? Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> Tend to come by. Anyway, here well, we are. I, I saw you uh, posted something in the Sunrise Tribe. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 So great. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. And Ida, do you remember Ida? Ida was at the ranch recently. <laughs> yes. Hi, Ida. Hi. Hi, David. Good to see you. She enjoyed her good time to see at the you. ranch. I did. Yeah. yeah so. Karen would be on, but it's, I don't know, going on one o'clock in the morning uh, over there. And so. Yeah, anyway, she was she, wanting she, to come. Yeah, she extends her good wishes. Yeah. A little late yeah. England. It's mm -hmm. great. It's fun. It's like been uh, uh, since we've been on, it's been like popcorn style. Mm -hmm. People popping in, pop it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the, whole, the whole thing is to do a little popping and bringing in what your favorite bug is. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun just to keep the conversation fun and lightened we don't have to get into any of the um anything serious to the focus off your birthday yeah well no just to <laughs> have something to learn from each other and enjoy each other something, yeah something to giggle beautiful about. today on your birthday i yeah. must say pardon you look beautiful today on your birthday oh, As you. You, look you look beautiful on my birthday <laughs> and, and how old are you this wonderful Friday? 75. Woo! Uh, wow, we need an elder around here. No, he's now, the elder. I'm no, ma no, oh, wow. she is. Mom's oh, mom. Yeah, mom. Oh, yeah, is mom, mom is the elder here. Addison's yeah. mama is 92. You know how old I am? How old? 92. 92. 92. You are spunky. Just a kid. <laughs> you know what? Let me just share something very quickly. It's just a number. No matter what your number is, it's just a number. Life is a joy. Grab it every day. Make the most of it. And don't get hung up on numbers. Mm -hmm. And when your number is up, enjoy the ride. Nice. Sure. So Connie, where are you? We're in West Hampton. Okay. And I, we're actually in a building. You can see a bit of it behind us here that I designed and built just about exactly 20 years ago. Oh, well. And it's my, it's the, it's the construction project that I'm actually the most proud of. It's just gorgeous. And it's the home of an artist, a Belgian artist named Rosaline Turner. Rosaline wow. hasn't dropped in yet. No, I she's normally technically challenged. <laughs> I'm not sure she'll make it in. But uh, this is a sort of a home from home. Um, the last big construction project I did before I met Connie and headed out into the Wild West. Yeah, the Wild West. He's been he's been testing his carbon capture module prototype. Yeah. He's, he's invented a carbon capture module, something that captures carbon from the air. It's and right over there, about 25 feet just outside <laughs> through that wall, and it works. We've just been testing it. In oh, fact, good. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I finished my big test today on Connie's birthday, <laughs> and um, now the results go off to our lab, and we'll get some analysis done as to actually how much we've captured. I couldn't answer that question. All I know is we've done all we can. So these... Oh. These carbon capture <laughs> modules go in this big enviroplex Here's Kenny, who's probably that, trying to get that become it becomes the Kenny. center of a regenerative community. So it's it's a first pixel of a big uh -huh. picture. And he's yeah. looking for 10 acres of land yeah. and funding to build this yeah. enviroplex yeah. and have these regenerative yeah. communities. And yeah. so yeah. everyone's very enthusiastic yeah. about it. And okay. so we're just trusting the process and um, taking it one step at a time and seeing what, what land wants him and us to build this thing. And um, we'll see. That's awesome. I can't wait till you guys come back yeah. to show you guys our, uh, we, our whole roof is loaded with uh, solar panels now. And um, 
we actually generate enough electricity to run our house and feed back to the the collective, the Poudre Valley REA. Bravo. Uh, let me tell you about this, this place we're in right now. Um, it has seven bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, a studio with a 22 foot tall by 16 foot wide wall for a particular painting. And the electricity bill is one three thirteen dollars a month average. Holy nice that. Wow. Solar heat pumps. It's this is the eco paradise of um, of West Hampton, New York. Unbelievable. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. It's fantastic. Well, um, congratulations yeah. on completing your model, Andrew. That's terrific. I know that's yeah. been your major project. Yeah, it has. Connie, Kenny is looking for the link. She can't get on. Oh, okay. Kenny is a her. friend of ours from Nairobi, Kenya, who is not being able to oh, get, on. Well, can get Kenny Mann on here. Yeah. We, we got an, another couple that just came on. They're the lower right there. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? I don't see anybody. Oh, no. There's Oriana, um, Oriana and, and Randall. They're from Tucson. They were the first ones on. Actually, they've been lurking oh. in the background. And there they are in their hats. They're amazing. I think and they're are they going to sing us a song? We've actually been, we've been, we've been here with just seven of us to live music. So it's, it's in the, I don't know if you can hear it. We're just so we're just keeping ourselves to you. But listening on the party and Linda there. Thank you. Hi guys, I don't, I don't ever remember meeting you, but this is Roshana and Robbie. Uh -huh. And dear friends of uh, Robbie and Janice Hall and Ida Swift and Ingrid Hardy from Sedona. Oh, look. Yep, another pop in. Yeah. There's a niece, a cousin niece person from the great state of Maine. Hi, Christina. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hello. So, Randall, were you going to sing a song right now? Do you dare? Do you dare? Do you dare? Do you dare? It's knowing yeah. that okay, your well. door is always open and your path is free to walk. Yeah, say we're singing now. So, we'll, we'll see about singing you a song. We'll, we'll see if we can awesome sing another song. Keep it posted. Keep it posted. Keep it posted. Okay. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Thank you. So, Christina, can you tell us what your favorite bug is? And how about is that what is your son? Yeah, that's Colin. Colin. You're right. That's Colin. Colin. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, what's your favorite bug? Favorite bug. Ooh. Got a favorite? Really big and really scary. Lots of legs. <laughs> <laughs> what about your mom? What's her favorite? Um, I don't know that it's necessarily a favorite, but a powerful bug that shows up in my life is a praying mantis. Oh, man. oh, mantis. <laughs> mantis, mantis is winning this tonight's competition. That's totally a winner. <laughs> I know why. He comes on, says praying mantis, 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 mantis. Funny. I guess, the, well, then, I'll, then the, the other one probably for me is bees. We've, I've been on a bee kick lately. Mm. Good job. Yeah, bees are so, so special. What about your least favorite? Um, I have a couple. We have a rule in our house that we only kill. There's a couple bugs that we, only a couple bugs we kill. Otherwise, we save creatures. We only kill ticks and mosquitoes mm -hmm. and grubs. Good and job. Grubs. Other than that, <laughs> everything else gets to live. Hello, Kenny. There's Kenny Man. Greetings. Hello, hello, hello. hello. What's your favorite <laughs> bug last? My favorite what? Bug. B U G. My favorite bug. Yeah. Uh, um, dung beetles. Oh, very good. good. <laughs> By the way, the dung beetle, I knew you'd say that because mine was the rhinoceros beetle, which is... Oh, similar, awesome. yes. Never. Isn't that funny? Now you can tell... We're Africans, Africans. Yes. they're people from <laughs> Africa. So we have... South African beetles. in the house. East Africa, beetles. Kenya. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't talk to South, South Africans because they talk like this, you know. Oh, Kenny, <laughs> come on. Don't be so prejudiced, darling. So, <laughs> I, I, I why, they, why they roll the dung backwards that's a good question i think if i remember correctly from my zoology that it's because they dig their holes in the ground with their back legs and pull oh. the dung in backwards mm. oh that makes sense yeah, i think that's right dung. yeah totally makes sense what a shitty beginning 
<laughs> What's your least favorite, Kenny? God, I don't know. I don't usually have favorite or least favorite things because everything is something, right? I have Maybe no I'm, idea. Kenny, I'm in West Hampton Beach and the no seums are devouring my ankles as I sit. <laughs> yes, I would agree with that one. Or centipedes. Oh my God. Oh. Big, like eight inch long centipedes in your bed. I in your bed? What? In, bed. <laughs> in Africa, they get in your bed? They, they do. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Don't come. Don't come. Okay. <laughs> Pick a bed bug. <laughs> Kenny's calling from Santa Fe at this point. Um, Kenny, when are you heading for Kenya? Uh, Mid December. Uh -huh. We're going to be from mid December until. The end of February. Nice, jealous, so, jealous. That's exciting. Kenny Not works so with the 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 um, the Maasai and brings their art to the mm -hmm. world. And she grew up with the Maasai. And wow. so, yeah. And hey, Christina, what was that other thing that you don't that you don't let live? Don't let and live? Mosquitoes Chicks and mosquitoes and grubs. Grubs. Oh, grubs. What are grubs? Grubs are the little, I think they're the, the, the little white, they kind of almost have that same centipede thing where they have this weird head and these funny little, my daughter's saying slug, funny little legs. And they, I think they turn into some sort of beetle, but they absolutely decimate your lawn and garden. Oh. It's like the- um... I know what my favorite bug is. Okay. What? Grasshopper. This is Uli, my partner here. Hello, Uli. Hi. Uli, Hi. What's, what's, your what's your favorite bug? What's your favorite bug? What's your favorite bug? My favorite bug is a ladybug. A ladybug. 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 Not just a ladybug. What's your least favorite bug? My least the tarantula. Why? Hey, Uli, why, why the tarantula? They're pretty sweet, aren't they? They're cuddly. Oh, they're cute to look at, but they're just not as cute as a bug as it could be. Or maybe maybe that earth termite, that's the one we found in the shower, dear. That was another <laughs> <laughs> that was not not a termite. Termite. <laughs> mm, termite. Oh, termites, yeah. Those suck, yeah. Yeah, so termite day, that could be um and Colin, what's your least favorite? Stink bug. Stink, Stink bug. bug. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> Stink bug the second honorable mention of the evening. Oh, yeah. look, look, friends, it seems that Mantis is winning by about five to one. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, I would like everybody to make a note of this phrase: Mantis and his friends. Just Google Mantis and his friends, and you will find yourself immersed in the strangest stories that I've personally ever come across. They're the ancient tales of the Bushmen of the Kalahari, who are the people who carry the world's oldest DNA. They've been around for as long as humans have been around. And they have stories that are so strange. And so I have the book. I have the book. children, children, understand these stories. Children have no trouble, but adults with rational minds just can't figure it out. So they're not linear. They're holistic kind they're of so non-linear. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I have a book of them that was probably collected by some missionary who learned the language. And when you read them, you just you have they have there's no time involved. Everything right. happens right. simultaneously or behind and up front and below and above, and you don't know how to orient yourself. That's and right. the end of the story seems to us completely illogical. Right. It has no attachment whatsoever to the beginning. And it's it's a, a whole different way of storytelling that we don't understand. It truly. Get us, gets us out of that logical linear mind. Yeah. Mantis yeah. and his friends, I mean, Full-blown hallucinations from the human species. Very interesting. I'm hoping that um, illuminates uh, the issue that I have with Mantis, and that is mate. 
okay. then eat the mail. Oh, you're obsessed, my darling. Are you? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I think we well, should go and, and that, work on this. That yes, you've made thing. that I don't even around. understand that. You've I think you better go and, and have a serious topic. discussion with your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I've experienced that. <laughs> what did you, what did you <laughs> You gotta let no, that go, no, baby. No, no, no. You gotta not let here, that go. Not here. <laughs> it's like, this is weird to me. <laughs> so, Christina, where's Maddie? She's sneaking in. Maddie, we want to see you. There's that Maddie. Hi, Maddie. What's your favorite? What's your favorite bug, beautiful girl? Very nice. I like that. And dollars for Sharon. <laughs> what? Do you have a favorite bug? I don't know. Maybe a horse fly. <laughs> You're into horses. She's into horses, so maybe the horse fly. I'm just teasing. No, horse flies are horrible. Ooh, They're horrible. I have, another, I have a good one. A lightning bug. Oh, oh a lightning bug. That's great. Awesome. Lightning bug. That's a oh, good idea. Bug. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. It's just, they always make me happy. It's warm summer outside lightning bug. Lightning yeah, bug. the great state of Maine. These folks are in the great state of Maine. Hmm. Right. Now that you point out some of the negatives of the mantis, I think I'll change to the lightning bug. <laughs> are, you, are you seeing lightning bugs where you are? Because they're go they say they're going extinct. They're just we, they used to just be everywhere where I grew up in New Jersey. We see them, we see them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they're hardly around at all, and yeah. I yeah. read that they were going extinct. Sadly, a lot of it's the pesticides and. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you Juliet. put a, if you put a lightning bug in a jar, it won't light up. Um, it might light up for like one or two times, but then when you release it, oh. and it it goes and lights up. It's like it lights up when it's free. Don't we all light up when we're free? Yes. 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 That's, that's what's up. That's Dr. and Mrs. Future. Oh, Dr. and Mrs. Future are coming from in. From Future Peak in, oh, in Santa Cruz. And here's Juliet Wheeler, whose birthday is tomorrow. From Concord, right? from Massachusetts. True. Yeah. So in London, who and Kenny, yeah. her husband, Kenny. London. So these are Thorovian friends from Concord. And we have Dr. And Mrs. Future Dr. here. Dr. Future, we love you. Alan and Son Lundell <laughs> themselves from Santa Cruz. Oh, man. High on Future Peak off the grid. And what, what does Thorovian mean? Pardon? What does Thorovian? Oh, Thorovian. Henry David Thoreau. There's oh, there are the fans, followers, students well, of Thoreau. There are for part of our Thoreau family in Concord. We spend a lot of time hanging out with old Henry. Yeah. Mom would like to say something because she has to leave. I just want to hey, say Mom. wonderful Mom visit to and she has the talking stick. Wonderful visiting and to the birthday person. Happy birthday. That's me. And that's my honey. That would be you. Well, that would be me. Every every birthday is a gift. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy. Especially when I'm with beautiful friends mm -hmm. like you all. Thank I love you for being with my daughter and visiting with all of you. But I'm going to leave right now, and I hope to have the opportunity to share with you once again the next time you get the whole gang together. Yes, Mom. Yeah. And Thank you're very you. lucky. You're very lucky to have such a wonderful, attentive, brilliant, beautiful daughter. <laughs> I kind of like her a little bit. Because you're the same mother. I said I kind of like her a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very blessed. I have two others, and then I have seven grandchildren, and I have three great grandchildren. Oh, my God. Oh, well, you go, girl. So, I, I, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm very blessed. And now, I'm going to answer a very important call. <laughs> you know You're going to see a man about a horse? There you go. Oh, she goes to <laughs> so funny. Honey, I'm going to have to go too. This is Murphy. Okay, okay. okay David. Happy birthday. Oh, good to see you, David. Hey, David. Yeah, good to see you. Bye. And love to Karen. Yeah, okay. give Karen a big hug for us. Yeah, Virtual. Thank you.
Bye-bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go to you guys. Happy <laughs> birthday, Great. Bonnie. Nice seeing we'll see everybody. You on Monday. Enjoy. Yeah, see you Monday. And I, I must leave Bye. too. Bye. Enjoyed it very much. Hey, yeah. so, Ida, did we get your favorite and least favorite? What's your favorite? Yes, cicada? yes. I, I started Some beetle with... and cicada. Yeah, and then a roach, palmetto bug. Yeah. Roach. Yeah, there's they're my favorite too. Yes, so you okay, Ida, nice to see you, my dear. Enjoy it very much. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. So Dr. Where, where are you guys? Are you in Rosalie's house? We are. Yeah. We're in Rosalie's house. You are. Yeah. We are. We're in the studio. Yeah. So anyway, those people have been here for a while. Oriana and Randall, do you have anything further you want to gift us? You know, because we don't want to make as you your favorite bug. Your favorite bug? Have you gun, given us your favorite bug yet? <laughs> I don't know that we've given you our favorite bug, but we've only got a few more minutes of music here, and then we can talk more freely. So we're just kind of... Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll see you in a few. Up, but, uh, so we'll see you in a few. <laughs> yeah, now, did, we, did we talk about tarantula, though? This, no. This is not tarantula. <laughs> Do you like them or not like them? Do you like tarantulas? What's not to like about a tarantula? I think they're adorable. Yeah, they're furry, you know, they're kind of... Okay, we'll let you mute and we'll come back after the music. Nice music. They're in a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, where are they? What about Juliet and Kenny? Hey, so we're in the kitchen trying to make dinner. Okay, yeah. So tell us about your favorite bug. Um, I don't know. We praying we... mantis. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> Juliet, you know that seven out of ten of the gathering here tonight have, have said praying mantis. That's really interesting. Of and all, of I know my least favorite now that I thought about it. <laughs> what is it? Your least favorite, isn't no, it? The bed is bug. The who? The bed bug, yeah. The bed bug? Bed yes. bug. Ah, that, yes. was, that was my yes. least yes. favorite. Yeah. Good job. Horrible. Have you experienced bed bugs? Uh, people I know did, and I experienced uh, paranoia over them. Yeah. Paranoia over them. The Martha diatomaceous earth. Yeah, he sounds diatomaceous <laughs> earth to get rid of them, huh? Wow. Well, that's what yeah, I thought. Was here. Oh, all all kinds of sprays that cost forty dollars a bottle if you can afford them. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kenny, what like, about what? you? Canadians, what? Hey, Kenny, what, what about you? What about not, me? Not you, the other Kenny. Oh, oh, the other well, Kenny. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of. Like? I kind of like having the uh, fishing spider uh, come come appear in my house. The fishing spider. Is it a different category of being? Well, it? it's not an insect. Yeah, what kind of spider? Spider, what? apparently. We're supposed to give our These very large fishing fishing spiders uh, just appear in the house from time to time. Oh. They love to show up in the bathroom sink in New Hampshire. Oh, what, ah. <laughs> what makes them a fishing spider? Well, I I don't know that they actually fish, but they're they're the largest uh, spider that we have here. They're great. They're big. They're, they're kind so of big. big you, you can't miss them. In fact, they're there taking up you know part of the sink. <laughs> <laughs> they're fishing for compliments. <laughs> and then you have to chase it out of the spider. So, what's your least favorite? Um, I the the one that's biting me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we have it might had be. a lot of mosquitoes yeah. this year. Right. Well, we don't yeah. like deer flies or horse flies. Yeah, very the deer much flies either. are one of my least favorite. They, oh, the they deer fly. Pretty... How yeah. about black yeah, they're flies? Nasty. I lived in Winter Harbor for a while, and in June, the black flies came out. Oh, and yeah. oh yeah, they're nasty. They bite the crap out of you. It's like they yeah. Yeah. Right now, we forgot about that and the biting midges that you yeah. know the, the insects that get through the screens. We don't like those either. <laughs> no seams. <laughs> So friends, yeah. friends, let us introduce Dr. Future and see what futuristic bug he has up his ear. But first we have to acknowledge <laughs> Ron and Chrissy Ron from Hawaii. Chrissy. Are you in Hawaii? 
No, we're in Boulder right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Happy yeah. birthday, Connie. Thank you. We celebrate Ooh. with Ron and Chrissy on my birthday very often. Yeah. Uh, they we are our go-to. They're my go-to birthday celebrants. If you know, I have to tell you when we, when we when Chris and I got married, I and she didn't know what she was getting into, <laughs> and um, and so we were we got married in Bar Harbor, Maine, and Baja. in in, in Bar Harbor, up there to Bar Harbor. It, it was in May, and it was right at the beginning of the no sea and black fly season, and I had this wonderful cabin by this lake in Buckport. <laughs> <laughs> and so I told her, I said, well, you know, we're really going at a bad time because it is black fly season and no seams and all of that. And she says, well, I don't believe in that. <laughs> and I said, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got there <clears throat> and, um, you know, it was one of these beautiful lakes that had 52 underground springs on, off of Craig's Farm. And I literally drove a mile into the woods to get there. And sure enough, we walked by the shore side with our champagne glasses and dipping into the sweetest water. And, and black flies and no sins were all around us swarming and never did they touch us. No oh, wow. wow. Because you were in love. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We had a love aura. <laughs> I love that. It's that's a frequency so thing. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a good story. It's a great chapter in the book by the explorer Stanley in Darkest Africa. He devotes an entire chapter to all the bugs when they're in the jungle that get into every possible and impossible orifice of everybody's body. He <laughs> drove half his people mad. He lost something like 200 people when he finally came, you know. So um, what we're talking about, we actually, we have zero experience, you know, in the wild we have all these sprays and pills and what have you but can you imagine being those guys in the in the congo jungle it would have been absolutely you know beset by every living insect on the planet goes up your bum goes into your toes wow. your nostrils into your ears into your eyes and <laughs> stop, stop. But that's no, but I do not. I, don't believe, I got the book right here. You. I could read it to you. <laughs> yeah, the bum part is not. No, 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 don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you said Bar Harbor, uh, Mahaba, um, I was in Winnehaba for like six months uh, in the Navy. And then uh, it's like everything along that coast where we traveled up and down, you're like, you can't get there from here. Got to go by way of Ellsworth. <laughs> oh, the beat. Oh, somebody got a beat on that. Nice. Well, listen, when I was doing my book on Katahdin and Baxter State Park, I had to wear a, a bee's, a bee's beekeepers. Hat, beekeepers hat to keep out the black flies. Oh, God. They're, they're they horrible. just covered your eyelashes behind your ears. Oh. Really, they, they, they bite. Ah, that's awful. They're, they're biters, man. <laughs> up in the great state of Maine, in the in the deep dark woods. I'm so yeah. glad I never lived yeah. there. You need to get you need to get one of those Australian hats. You know, the hat that has all <laughs> yeah. the bits of yeah. leather with dangly things. That's what they're yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. Ron had, things. That's Ron a, had one of those, <laughs> and every time he'd go out in the garden he would wear that hat with the danglies because otherwise he would be giving way too much blood yeah. just for right. vegetables. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you all know that in the great state of Maine, the mosquito is the state bird. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's good wingspan. I've seen it carry away small animals. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought my nickname was sweet meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Future, Future okay. Bud. Dr. Your favorite. Has a giant synthetic bee who he's been working on for months now. He just, <laughs> he just he's, he's about to yes. take It's almost alive. It's almost alive. <laughs> We're working on it. Yes, I, I actually only have a few minutes because we have okay. a company coming over and and all that good stuff. And we're finishing a, a, a promo for the Saturday Night Live show tomorrow night, nice, which will be pretty yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But a, a, you know, happy birthday, uh, Connie, and, and so Thank great you. that. You've been part of my life and, and, and Sun's out. I'll see if I can get Sun. She's been working in the other room where we're doing this montage of combining various uh, uh, enlightened beings with our, 
with our uh, our local tribe, you know, so that you sort of fade from one eye set to the next, you know, and it, and it looks like we're all part of the same community. Oh, um, right. Well, we are. Yeah, we so. are one consciousness. We, we are. are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, that's true. With yeah, the so bees sort of, and everybody else. So we've been. Yeah, we're all connected for sure in, in yeah, multitude of ways. Be conscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Al, I sent you an email yesterday wondering whether you know anything about the Anthropocene Institute. So check that and let me know, would you? It's the cool. Anthropocene Institute. I don't, but I'll, I'll check yeah. it out. Oh, somebody oh. told me to check it out. I thought you might have some background. Okay. Anthropocene. Yeah. Anthropocene. Anthropocene Institute. So. Uh, okay. It sounds intriguing. It is. <laughs> so it's your favorite bug, the bee? Yeah, yeah, it's got bees and bugs. So, so, yeah. so, Al, what is your favorite bug? Is it the bee? Well, I do like bees. I, I also like uh, something I don't have out here in California. I miss from the East Coast, which is the fireflies. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're so, uh, so magical. We were just yeah. in Maine and there were a lot of fireflies in the night while I was building the carbon capture module and it got dark and you go out to the van and there. Oh, they yeah. Just illuminating yeah. the woods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, awesome. Andrew, wow. Andrew, the Anthropocene or Anthropocene Institute develops partnerships between, listen to this, entrepreneurs, institutions, and investors. Together, we develop technologies, advocate policies, and mobilize financing to address the world's energy and resource challenges. Yeah. Yeah. That's right up our alley. And yeah, like it, you yeah. doesn't know about it. It's probably some kind of fantasy, but there you are. <laughs> it's in the no, chat. It's, real. it's very know. real. I just don't know anything about it. I was I was um, suggested yeah. that we looked into it. And, yeah, there you go. Yeah. What, what, what's the biggest enemy of the bee? Is it those uh, killer yeah. hornets? Humans. Things? Humans. Oh, humans. Oh, humans. Yeah. Chemicals. Yeah, and the mite, the Chinese mite, the mighty Chinese mite. Oh, what do they do to bees? What do they do? Kill the babies in the nest, Aww. in the comb. Yep. Mm. Yeah. What are the Chinese doing about that? I don't know, but I'll tell you something. Connie made a key lime pie today, and when she finished it, there was some leftover. What's it called again? Condensed, condensed milk. Condensed milk. She always leaves me a little bit of con that delicious, crazy, sweet condensed milk. And she put it in the van. I went out to the van, and the bees had found it, and they put out the word to the to the tribe. <laughs> we've, we've, we've been having all these yellow jackets, and all of a sudden, oh. not a yellow jacket in sight, and there were like 19 bees in the van. Just and I said, "Oh, it's just so good to see bees. You're welcome." Now, <laughs> <laughs> what's your least favorite? Well, probably the yellow, uh, the little, the uh, cousin to this one, uh, the yellow, yellow jacket. jacket. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that Which one. Is, uh, we have a the lot of them like... here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can be a pain. I don't like ticks. I just can't get. I know ticks are not much fun either. Ticks no, we don't like ticks true. either. I don't like ticks. We're in lime country here, and it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's we got our first harvest of that... honey today. You did? And yeah, hey. among the Maasai community. Hey. Those are my, my, uh, my house guests have arrived, uh, okay, so Al. I must go right now. Bye, Al. Thank you. We'll so see much. you. Have a good day again. Bye-bye. See you, Love you too. Tonight. Glad you're here. Bye, Dr. Future. Thanks for your birthday wishes. Okay, Connie, I'm going to go too. Bye, Ingrid. Okay, Hi, good. Yes. We love so you. So good to see you. He goes, bye, happy birthday. <laughs> There's that handsome Thomas. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye-bye. Let's have a catch-up. Okay, we have a we have a special special song for Connie. Mm. <laughs> All right, a oh, special wait. birthday treat. Are you ready? But you need, you need to can you make us co-host? So we can oh, screen share this. Can we make you co-host? Yep, we um, be able to just go to participants. Go to participants and, and go to Oriana. And go to more yeah. and say make. Co-host. Co -host. That'll do Got it. Sounds right. Do it. There you go. Amazing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we can all be heard. Like tech savvy folks that we are. <clears throat> okay. Thank you guys. You're on. Turn those marshals up to eleven. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. <laughs> oh look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Are they doing the air too? Here we go, kids. <laughs> Okay, that was that was kind of sweet to start you on karaoke here in Arizona. That was fun. That was Very good. Nice. Sweet. Look, here's Rosaline, our hostess. Oh, Rosaline, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, look, and there's my daughter, Kansi. There's Kansi. Hi, Kansi. Hi, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Hey, John. It's John. And Logan, Logan, I hope Logan May's around. <laughs> Not. She is at a friend's house. Oh, good heavens. I've heard that That's before. terrible news. <laughs> we almost forgot. You almost oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm glad you're here. It's and... gonna bug out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Yes. <laughs> Great to see you guys. Great to see you too. Yeah. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. So good to meet your friends. And when are you guys come back? So I can show Andrew my new camera. Oh, yeah, nice back in, tell us about his new camera. Like, not, not now. Another time. Not now. Another time. Oh, come on. Are you coming back? Yeah, no. So, no. We'll be back in December. 
All right. We'll see you then. We'll see you then. Okay. Thanks for coming yeah. by. Thank you, guys. Thank you for oh, you Love you, Connie. Happy birthday. Uh, Happy birthday. We got to finish supper. You guys going to go to? Okay. Oh, yeah. we we're going supper. to. Much love to you, sweetheart. And to oh, yeah. Andrew also. And many more happy birthdays to celebrate. Yeah, yeah. but we, we need to know what, what your favorite bug is. <laughs> we both came upon the same one. It's okay. the praying mantis. Oh, okay. Praying mantis again. So. Mantis is the winner of all. Oh, is it? Tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, the praying is the idea, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and, our, and our worst one <clears throat> is the tick. Yeah, That's which the, everybody yeah. has the too. Lime right. tick. Ooh, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, so good. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Love you. Love, Love you. you guys. Happy Beautiful. Birthday, you How guys. long are you in Boulder? Well, are you heading for Hawaii? We think Eventually. by Thanksgiving we'll be in Hawaii, but we're not sure. So we might It'll see you when you return. Well, we're packing. Oh, we're yeah. packing. Okay. <laughs> we're all always Bye. packing. Okay. Yeah. Good to see you. Bye, guys. Aloha. Bye bye. Aloha. Aloha. Um, bye. Shalom. And Juliet and yes. Penny, good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, good to see you too. And you and I both like multiple colors, and you have your. Your uh -huh. colors and I have uh, mine on. Yeah. 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 And happy birthday tomorrow. Very nice. Oh, thank, yes. you. thank you. Thank you. Take care. Happy birthday. Love to your dad. So, yeah. Blessed. Thank you. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. So, everybody. So, who's left? Who's you left? want to say hello to Rosalind? Is that okay? Ah, Kenny. Here you are. <laughs> you need to move your screen because we only see half your head. That's it. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, better. Okay. That's I better. There. I think. Are we you lost in your house? Daughter. You look as though you're in the house too now, right? Okay. Yeah. Are you? Okay. Are you in the house? In the yes. She's in the dining room. Ah. And the okay. So you're okay. back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are in the studio. So happy birthday again. Hey. Thank hey. you, Rosaline. She just made us a great dinner, and uh, it was just such fun. And we just appreciate being here. It's just so wonderful. And it looks like we lost my daughter. I guess she just jumped in for a moment. And did Sharon do she's still there? Is she no, still I'm still there? here. Oh, good. Oh, good. Let's yeah. see. I've I've kind of screwed up my um there we are. Uh, oh look, here's Jim Gray Wolf Petruzzi. So yeah. Conti, I want to see Logan. Yeah, not happening. Oh, not oh, happening. Oh, okay, and Jim Petruzzi, um, greeting. I'll ever call you. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on. And what and what did you say your favorite bug is? Logan. I don't know that I think I don't think I have a favorite bug. Maybe a ladybug. Ladybug. Logan. What's your favorite least favorite? Bug. Probably a tick. Now that somebody mentioned it. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, Logan. Right. Back. I'm gonna go. Okay, sweetie. Thanks for coming on. Love you. Happy love birthday. You. Bye, love bye. to John. Love to Logan. Bye, John. Bye, John. We bye, love John. you. Love you. So, and there's Rosaline. Rosaline and Penny. Uh, and so, I enjoy also a lot your presence here. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Well, it's Kenny. Unusual. Where is Kenny? Here's Kenny's here. Yeah. Oh, I'm in Santa Fe. Yeah. Oh, that's your place. Yeah, look at this. This is my office. Uh, this is your office. And that was the poster that Pat and Miller made for the show in East Hampton. Uh huh. And remember? And we have Sharon London here. Sharon, where are you calling in from? You look beautiful. Your lighting is like a stupendous. Where are you well, calling my, from? My beautiful 2008 SUV has very nice overhead lighting. It's very okay. professional looking. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. It's amazing. Okay. You're yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. So are you. Happy birthday. Okay. I am in Chicago. Um, oh, this is Chicago. where I'm from. Nice. And I'm living in a cabin in Wisconsin. I've been there for like a year. And it is over in a couple of weeks. And I don't know what I'm doing with my life after that. Trusting um, the loving universe. 
Yes, I'm doing my best. It's a little tough. My dad's in hospice. My mom's a nervous wreck. And I, I don't want to be here much longer, but I feel like morally obligated. Um, and yeah, I'm here. Well, thank you for coming. What's your favorite book? I would say Grasshoppers. Um, uh, I've had a few as pets. I, I found them a few times when they were injured. And they'll stay at my house. So I've read a ton about them because I'm like, what does it all mean? Why is there another grasshopper in my life or two grasshoppers once? Um, and they, I, I think they're my totem bugs because they stand still for like immense amount of times, like sometimes days. And then all of a sudden they'll jump 10 times the amount of the, their length. And then from that, I just learned actually in Target the other day, I found a grasshopper in Target mm -hmm. and it flew and I was like, what? I didn't know its wings really work. So it started, it's jumped, but then it started going into flight and it like went across the whole place. And that, me and the other woman, I was just about, I was asked her if they have any bug like houses for kids or anything. Cause I was like, I really like this grasshopper. I want to keep it. Um, and then it flew away and we we're both kind of in awe at how far it flew because their their wings are generally decorative. They're not really useful, except for a certain span of their lives. They can go very, very, very far. Oh, wow. um, and they can't go sideways or backwards ever. Wow. So it's very meaningful. Oh, that's great. No, that's, that's a good. good thing for us to learn, not going sideways or backwards, there right? Exactly. <laughs> Move forward. Move forward. Stay on like the middle path, path, on the good yeah. road. Mm. So here's Deborah mm. Maldo from Mexico. San Miguel. San Miguel. Hi, Deborah. Deborah. Happy birthday, Connie. Thank you, Deborah. Hey. What a treat to have you here. And Jim Petrucci. That looks like San Miguel, is it? Yes, who yes. just said that? Oh, you said that. Yes. Recognize it. Yes. Yes. Kenny, you have a place there not far from yours, Deborah. I did, yeah. And Jim, you're, you're calling in from Moab? Yep, I'm in a dog park outside of Arches. I'm going to go back in shortly. Happy birthday. Sweet, thank you. Well, good to see you. You're looking very dapper in your bearded self. Wow. Oh, that's because my razor broke, but that's what yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, beautiful there in San Miguel. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yes, here's Mary Catherine Conger from Aspen. Oh, Mary Catherine, hello. Hi, happy birthday. What Thank a beautiful you. gathering this is. Yeah, but what I need to know from Jim is what's your favorite bug, Jim? Oh, Jim, you got uh, praying minutes. Oh, mantis. Oh, is, no, not again. An idea that mantis is hands down favorite bug of, bug of the evening. Yeah. Yeah, it's winning. I mean, Honey, it's your, it seems like it might be your totem birthday bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good point. Everybody's bringing it up. It's like nine out of 10. Wow. Yeah. So what's your least favorite, Jim? Mosquito. Uh, mosquito. Mosquito. Mm, yeah, he's there, he's, he's actually no, no no wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. It's the bot fly. The who? Black, the black fly. Bot fly. B O T. Bot fly. No, what's bot. that? Bot fly. Bot fly. They're in Central America. They actually bore into you and lay eggs, and it's really mm. nasty. nasty. Oh, nasty. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, yep. so we'll we'll have to reprieve to mosquitoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Well, good to know. I didn't even get to see my least. Oh, what's favorite? your least? Oh, uh, what are you doing? I, I would think it would be the brown The who? My the brown recluse spider because they're highly mm -hmm. poisonous. Recluse spider because they're very, yeah. very, very, very poisonous and they can kill people. So the other ones are just a little annoying and they like serious west nile and uh, cephalitis from mosquitoes but like generally they don't kill you and if they do it takes a while so i'm gonna go with one of the most poisonous spiders okay <laughs> <laughs> and ticks like they can cause a lot of like uh, autoimmune deficiencies and things but like again not immediate painful horrible deaths so i'm gonna go for that that's my least favorite bug okay <laughs> the most poisonous so, Rosaline, do you have a favorite bug? Ah, oh, I like the dragonfly. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. 
Yeah, with the, such the, a beautiful um, wings and transparency and the f almost fluorescence <laughs> and uh, with a, such a grace and they are so quick, they are so rapid. And um, so you said you were, that they are piercing the illusions, but yes, I love when I saw yeah. them uh, above the water. Ah, such a grace. Beautiful. And what's your least favorite? What's your least favorite uh, bug that I you don't think. like? That you don't no. like? Oh, that I don't tick. I don't like tick. Don't yeah, like ticks. ticks. No, I don't like tick at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not so at all. No. Uh, Rosaline is our hostess, our blessed friend who had Andrew build this beautiful studio that we're in 20 years ago. And she's a wonderful artist from Belgium. And she's been in the US doing her wonderful art for many, many years. And we're just so lucky to be here with uh, her and bask in her love. And, and Kenny knows this. Kenny knows this place very well as well. In fact, Kenny, yeah. we introduced Rosaline probably round about when we built this place, when you, were, you came to the grand opening. You, I didn't come to the opening, but you had just finished uh, when I met Rosaline, yeah, uh, yes, and we were, we were just in your house a few weeks ago, right? Yes, yeah. I, I enjoy so much to have you here. Yeah. I miss you all, really. <laughs> so, Deborah, what is your? Did you say what your favorite is? Your favorite bug? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> what might well, it my be? favorite bug is an individual that I met uh, probably twenty years ago, and. Uh, so I doubt that she's still with us, but it was an enormous tarantula. Uh -huh. And uh, there was a woman who was uh, teaching young people about animals and she would bring her favorite animals with her. And she came to the Peace Sanctuary in Amini, New York uh, to show us her animals. And she had this tarantula about that size. And you know they're tremendously graceful and beautiful to look at. And she said, "This tarantula, I was going to say, wouldn't hurt a fly, but that's probably not true." <laughs> <laughs> but she she had them, uh, the tarantula crawling up the children's arms and like that, uh, because it it was tame and delightful. So it was beautiful and graceful and. Uh, do they live a long time? Um, I doubt that they live that long. <laughs> so, What's your um, least favorite? That's my favorite. Yeah, well, you know, listening, I was going to go with mosquito, but really tick, it, tick is worse because tick, <laughs> the ticks have kept uh, people in the Northeast, particularly in the United States, from being able to walk barefoot in the grass. Yeah. And, I can't imagine generations of children growing up not being able to run barefoot in the grass. And Lyme disease is devastating. So many. I mean, that's where I'm, I was from before I moved to Mexico. And, uh, and almost everybody I knew had had Lyme disease. And some people suffered debilitating symptoms for the rest of their lives. Yeah, tough stuff. I had so, yeah, I mean, I hear, I hear you also about the brown recluse spider because... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a range of insects to make our least favorite. <laughs> so I want to I want to I have a question for you, Connie. Is what why did you ask us that? Well, I was thinking about what could I do for my birthday to make it fun, and I thought of a Zoom call, and then this idea just came into my head to ask people about their favorite bug. <laughs> And I thought, oh, that's funny. That's a strange idea. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, it's probably going to be fun. So it's that, you know, it's really interesting that how an idea comes because it didn't come from anywhere. It just came. So that's it. <laughs> Out of the blue. So there. And it's been fun, right? And it connects us to the rest of creation. Um, you know, it opens our hearts, our minds to other aspects of creation we don't think about much. 
And we, I just wanted something where people could come and have some fun together and not have to think about what to say or talk about anything in particular. You know, just come and have fun. That's it. So I think it worked. What do you think, kids? Yeah. 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 And I actually, speaking of kids, I need to go. I need to put my kids to bed. Yeah. Aww. Well, great to see you. Yeah, happy Christina. birthday. And I did, I did think of, as she said, barefoot, I did think of another least favorite. I don't know if it's a bug, but when we came and stayed with you in Sedona and I remember we were going out and Andrew told me to check my shoes for scorpions. Mm -hmm. And I did not sleep at all that night. Cause I was convinced there were scorpions in the bed. Oh, <laughs> That's another good one. Well, fortunately there weren't. Yeah, fortunately there weren't. So yeah. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. I'm so glad Maddie and Colin came. Yes. And they're yes. calling in from the great state of Maine. They're my cousins. She's my daughter of my cousin, Libby. So great. And we just spent time together in at Mount Katahdin in Maine. It was magic. It was magic. Yeah. It was great. Good to see you. Thanks, Christina, yeah. for coming. Mole, mole wants cake, right? Mole wants cake. Mole wants cake. Mole wants from, cake. from Judy's book. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, exactly. All right. Happy so, birthday. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye. I'll tell you a good bug story. Yeah. Do you want to hear a bug story? <laughs> this, yes. this, uh, my friend whom you know, Aurel, and I went to Morocco. And Aurel is, you know, extremely paranoid about bugs, like most Americans, I have to say. And she was so afraid that she was going to be bitten by a scorpion that on Long Island, where she lives, she went to some mall or other and found a great deal on these fantastic boots by somebody like Gucci, I don't know, real high fashion boots that she found in some secondhand store, I don't know. So she insisted on bringing these boots to Morocco, you know. So at some point in our journey in the desert, we did meet a gorgeous fiery guy on a camel, quite authentic, and he had just ridden across the Sahara, it takes 52 days, and Aurel was wearing her boots, and he wanted the boots. And so this incredible exchange took place because they both spoke French, and she wanted the indigo cloth that he was wearing. You know, they have these turbans that are made of indigo cloth. It took about three hours, but finally she got the cloth and he rode off on his camel with these Gucci boots that were too small for him, but he was going to keep them. And she never got bitten by a scorpion. So there you go. <laughs> that just came to mind. <laughs> That's a story. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, you know, what's been interesting me tonight very much is the fact that the Mantis has won this popularity contest hands down. There are 73 votes for Mantis and nobody else has got more than about three or four. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it's something like that. And what's so interesting is that our ancestors, our African ancestors, the Bushmen, they... The Dutch called the mantis the Hottentots Hot, the Hottentots God. Not really a god, but it's sort of a trickster deity character who was part creator, part wacko. He was always in trouble. He was always up to mischief. He was always screwing things up. And if you go to, as I've said several times, Mantis and his friends, you will find this collection of stories collected by a, um, a German doctor in Cape Town in the 1800s from some of the last people who actually remember these stories. He took in a lot of Bushmen people who had been being kept in the prison for crimes such as spearing an animal for dinner. Look what I've got. Oh, Andrew. look, she's got it. She's got it right there. What is it? What's the doctor's name? Mantis and his friends. There you go. What's his name? Well, it's not, it says T. Maskew Miller. No, Maskew Miller. I'm just favorite. looking up when this was published. Yeah, Maskew Miller is the publisher. Anyway, I'm trying to remember the name of this doctor. He's, God bless him, because with, if it hadn't been for him, we wouldn't have these stories. He collected these stories and they were Dr. published. Bleak. Dr. Bleak. Dr. Bleak. Dr. Bleak. Bleak. There it is, yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Look, that was the, um, and just the father of this guy. Uh-huh. He reproduced his father's collection of stories. 
There you go. Sweet. Hey, Stephen. There's Stephen. Stephen and Mary Catherine. Yeah, let's get in. From, calling in from Aspen. We're talking about mantis and the sacred aspects of mantis. What's your favorite insect? What my favorite insect? Um, dragonfly. Oh, number two. Rosaline was dragonfly. So, Stephen, Rosaline yes. is over there in the shadows, and Rosaline yeah. meets Stephen. You are both dragonfly friends. So this is dragonfly a people. Okay, good. Yeah, dragonfly people. Good. And Mary Catherine, what's your favorite? Butterfly. 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 Okay. So my daughter Chella, who's the mother of three of my grandchildren, is also a dragonfly person. So let's bring her in. Me too. Me too. All right. Ah. You see, dragonfly. I can read you a couple of sentences of this because it's so weird and wacky. If you want. Oh, nice. Or let's that... have a mantis story. Okay. I won't read the whole thing, but it, you'll see that it's completely out of this world, literally. It's called the mantis. Sorry, the mantis makes an eland. The mantis put Kwamanga's shoe into the water pool. Then Kwamanga missed the shoe. He asked his wife about it. His wife said to him, I do not know. The porcupine was his wife. Then the mantis made an eland out of Kwamanga's shoe. The eland grew up eating the mantis's honey. Kwamanga missed the shoe, but he was silent. The mantis went out. He went to cut honey with his knife. He gave it to the eland on a hollow stone when he had called the eland from the middle of the reeds in which it stood, the eland came out to eat. It went back again into the reeds when it had finished eating. The people did not know that it was an eland to whom the mantis was giving honey, but the mantis used to come and tell them that the honey was not fat. And so it goes on, you know, it just goes on in this, you know, wonderful kind of illogical, but extraordinarily fabulous story. You never know what they're really talking well, about. It's one, of the, one of the earliest African creation stories that the mantis took somebody's shoe and threw it into a pond and created eland. Eland is the largest of the antelopes. It's an 11 or 1200 pound amazing African antelope created from a shoe hundreds of thousands of years ago. Excuse me. <laughs> it's so mysterious. Yeah, so, we're going to head back, head back up the highway here. Go on well, way. we were hoping for a song from from uh, well, Randall. They gave us a pre-recorded one with Connie starting. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll tune in when we get home. If you're still here, we'll sing you a song. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. I'll have my guitar. My, my guitar is a half hour away, so I'll be happy to go ahead and sing you a song once we get home. <laughs> okay, we we'll look forward to it. Thanks for coming. Blessings, love you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. And so, uh, Mary Catherine and Stephen, what are your least favorites? Well, I'm going to go with the tick because I have actually had I had one in my ear when I was a junior counselor at camp, <laughs> and I've had them on me. I don't like them. No. Yeah. Ticks are really low in the popularity department. <laughs> They're high in the pop unpopularity they department. Yes, I'd have to say, human. if I lived someplace else, you know, where there were other ones like scorpions and those, that would they probably would be on the top. I mean, it's because of where we live, and that's the one here. Um, and what's whenever, yours? Go ahead. Well, mine, uh, I, I'm a conventional mosquito guy. <laughs> it's not a, a mosquitoes I, I think are pretty high they're probably my least favorite then that's partly because i lived in nova scotia for a while and it, they would turn into their land instead of our land for a few months and then we'd go back anyway that's my least well you've been to our house we had a um mantis that just showed up on our porch one day ah and walked and ended up walking into the front hall and um i never have seen one before um and haven't seen one since oh wild they're wild. so ubiquitous they really are i mean i grew up with them in africa kenny grew up with them in africa of course and they're everywhere i mean where is there a place where you don't find mantises 
Well, let me tell you something that I figured out that, you know how the Native Americans that, you know, if, if you have a question or a problem and you go out in nature, an animal's going to come and bring mm. you the, the answer. Well, I figured it out that because everything's energy and because everything is love, that it's the animal that, that, that they're actually, and my daughter actually told me about this once because she gave me the clue because we were hiking up at Katahdin and she stopped me as we were walking and she pointed at a rabbit that was in front of, in front of us on the trail. And she said, mom, that's a holographic rabbit. <laughs> okay. So she, my daughter can see through the veil so she could see that it wasn't a real rabbit. And so uh, that I, what I got from that and from the Native American thing is that this holographic universe, this loving universe, if you need something, the energies on the universe can form themselves into anything because it loves us. And so if, if we need to see a deer, if we're out and, and, and need an answer and our soul is needing this answer, the energies, the loving energies can form themselves into a deer, whether it's a real deer or not, doesn't matter because we see a deer and we get, oh yeah, okay, so I'm supposed to be peaceful. I'm supposed to do this and that. So I just wanted to tell you, and I actually had an experience um, like that with a fox. And, um, and this is all part of how I, what developed how I see the universe. And um, a friend had, had had those animal cards and she was asking, she asked me, she said, ask it a question. So I asked the question, I said, what do I do to go and fit in with my family? Because I'm going to visit my family. And, and it, I pulled a fox, which is, um, which is camouflage. So it, the fox said, go and, and camouflage yourself, right? Just fit in. So I went to Denver and I, I did that. Well, actually, before I went, a fox came into my path. I was out riding my horse and a fox came into my path. And then I went to Denver and I did it. I did the camouflage thing. And when I got back, the fox jumped up on my deck and said, how'd you do, you know? And then he, then he ate my chickens. So anyway. Um, <laughs> That was his agenda. Yeah, <laughs> all along. Yeah, like a Bushman right. story, like Mantis. Then, yeah. ate. but we I just, just want to say it's a conscious, loving universe, and and these things can happen. That these holographic images can come to us that we see as real, and it's the loving energies talking to us. I want to know how you camouflaged yourself. I fit in. I stopped saying disruptive things. I just said yes and no and no. how do you do and <laughs> you know, I stopped challenging people's realities. She kept Did it work? I kept my mouth. It worked. It worked. Yeah. 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 I mean if you talk about the weather you're not going to get in trouble too much, you know, but if you do It's all they have in the Arsenal. I've yeah. been doing it ever since with my family. It really works. I highly yeah. recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So this has been great, everybody. What a sweet gathering. So here we are. We've got Kenny in Santa Fe. We've got us here in West Hampton in the Hamptons. We've got Deborah in Deborah San, in San Miguel. Miguel the Andy. We've got Sharon in, in Chicago. We've got Mary Catherine and Stephen in Aspen. We've got Rosaline about 100 feet from us here in the same house. <laughs> and Janice in Florida. And Janice in Florida, who we know from, I know from Aspen. Yeah. Janet, uh, do you know Mary Catherine and Stephen? You must know each other. Because they're all our day people. Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't know them, know them, but I know you, yeah, I do know who you are, but we even never... Conger, Stephen and Mary Catherine Conger. No, I know I, you both okay. look familiar and I know your names, but never met you, which is interesting because what just came up for me while you were talking about the holographic animal stories is on my way to our day one year with Bob Goff. Bless your beautiful soul, Bob oh, Goff, for showing up here 
Mm-hmm. We drove, uh, when I lived in Boulder, he would often come through and pick me up and we would drive to our day together. And we were at the top of Vail Pass and we did a pipe ceremony and the sun was set. And across from the uh, summit point where they have the sign, Vail Pass, there's a little lake on the other side of the road. So after we did our pipe ceremony, we walked across the street to the lake and we were just standing there in presence. We're we talking the- Independence Pass or Vail Pass? No, Vail Pass on the, on the 17th. No. no. Are you talking Independence Pass or Vail Pass? Well, uh, I wouldn't depend. Oh, I wouldn't no, I mean, Indi- no, I mean, Independence Pass. Independence. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Okay, right. go on. Yeah, go on. Know those little I don't know why I said Vail Pass because we always went Independence. Yeah. So, okay. which is a pretty magical place anyway. But anyway, we did our pipe ceremony and then walked across the street to the little lake. We were standing in our, um, just in our deep inner peace when all of a sudden, both of us at the same time saw the shadow of a deer on the lake, but there was no deer there. Mm. We didn't say it right away. I turned to him and I said, I see a deer. And he said, I see the shadow, where's the deer? But the shadow was there, but there was no deer. Anyway, Mm. uh, physically. So uh, that remembrance just showed up. And I think um, Bob's kind, beautiful, sincere spirit is here as well so um, yeah. bob passed away recently what a beautiful man yeah. Yeah. beautiful man yeah three years ago right around now but um mm-hmm. say goodbye early. come come on choose son I'm yeah cooking. he's cooking i'm um, have the pan Hi, Uli. thank you Uli. Hi. Hi. hey I'm making pork chop and haricot verde Ooh, and roasted nice. potatoes. Oh, no. <laughs> right. <A> resident cook. <laughs> all right. Nice seeing you all. Yeah, wonderful. Thanks, Good to everybody. See you, Ollie. Happy birthday, Connie. Thank you, dear. So Can I guess. Join us for dinner? <laughs> what? I said, come and join us for dinner. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. we'd love and to. And I just want to say that um, Great. Stephen Conga, you had a serious connection with Santa Fe, did you not? Architecturally. Oh, yeah. And Kenny is not. I, well, I, uh, so Santa Fe, I, we uh, developed and built the Inn of the Anasazi. Yeah. Which is and, and we got it when it was the Department of Corrections. It was a metal panel office building, a block from the the square and so we turned it into the Anasazi so that was a beautiful we were the only person I think we were the only people to get something approved on the first reading at the city council because yeah. <laughs> they, they thought it was an improvement so that was that was good and then San Miguel uh, I helped develop and design the artisana San Miguel I don't know if you know the big hotel there Artisana San Miguel. It's it's a big hotel in town, it's the biggest. So, that hotel. Well, Kenny. Kenny yeah. also has a San Miguel presence. So had. Yeah. So Deborah, so, you'll have to check it out. The Artisana's Hotel. A R T E S A N A San Miguel. Yeah, I don't know that. It might be what was the Rosewood Hotel. So. Oh, the Rosewood. Yeah. yeah the Rosewood yeah. is three blocks from me, and it's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 So I did. I did that one, and then also in Santa Fe, it was a Rosewood. What did you do? The Artisan of San Miguel, that big hotel. Yeah. What, what did you do? What, what did you do? I, 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 I got an option on the land, found somebody to develop it, and then was head of design, working with a Mexican architect through the design development, and then built it. Wow, it's stunning. Congratulations. I wasn't part of the building process, but at the design up until the end of the design, I was there. And when was that? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> it's been years ago. But anyway, it's been, like 10 years, probably. It's been a while. I the years blend together. I'd have to look. No, I have that part I understand. <laughs> yeah, but it, I, so one one of the things I wanted to do is make the that in a town like San Miguel, where there's no straight line, there's no right angle in the whole town. We couldn't have any on the development. It couldn't look like a gringo piece of crap Euclidean thing. 
<laughs> so that's why the the streets are not are they're all at angles and and all the parking's underground so that it's all walking above ground but the same size streets anyway it was a fun project to do so it's magnificent and yeah. i i'm sorry to, to tell you that there are quite a lot of modern buildings with um angles and straight lines and it's uh, not gringo, it's because the Mexicans prefer that. The gringos like the graceful colonial architect. Yeah. <laughs> the Mexicans like the highly modern. Yeah, yes, no, that, and I, I worked with the architects that did the highly modern too. So one or the other, but I think in the heart of the revolution, anyway, that was the biggest piece of land left in San Miguel by far. So anyway, it was a big responsibility. Wow. <laughs> That's a well, great that, story. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when you did the Anasazi yeah. and um, and I didn't know about this San Miguel. That's very impressive and very cool. And Kenny, do you know the, is what is it called, Stephen? The Inn of the Anasazi? Yeah, in Santa Fe. In Santa Fe. I think I've Kenny. driven past it a few times. I can't uh, say that I've been there. Yeah, it's spectacular. I think it might be worth our little stop and walk through, right? Yeah. It, oh, it is. It, we have uh, the, the the beautiful artist did this big, beautiful mur mural along the whole dining room wall. Famous artist. It's yeah, you should see, yeah, it's worth seeing. I will go and see it. Deborah, will you walk past my old house in San Miguel? Mm -hmm. Where's that, that? Just around the corner from you. It's at, or uh, you have a picture behind you. It's 54 Hernandez Macias. Oh, yeah, it is around the corner from me. I'm in Barrio de la Aldea. Kenny, the I, wall is so high you can't see anything from the street. Yeah. How tall is the gate? It's massively tall. We went, Connie and I went and looked at it and went, oh, can't see a thing. Can't behind see that a thing. Oh, that's right. You, it was <laughs> It was a fabulous house, fantastic yeah, house yeah. that I bought online without ever having seen it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. that's good. Do you know Isabella Crazel by any chance in San Miguel? Nope. She'd be older anyway. It's, She's wonderful. We're all older. We, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I had a, I had a, a very. She's with me, which is really older. So. Oh, I had a, a very, when I bought the house, it belonged to an American lady. And I just came down to do the closing and everything. And she invited me to have lunch with her girlfriend. And it was a Wednesday, I remember. And I was very, very surprised. Everybody showed up in a hat and gloves these ladies what? it was like one o'clock in the afternoon went to some place or other where they had one martini after the other after the other after the other you know and i don't drink so it was a bit crazy but that was their their wednesday tete-a-tete -tete, they called it wow. <laughs> so i don't know if that's still happening <laughs> i don't know it's that's not my crowd <laughs> so they, and the, the hat and the gloves were mandatory you know it was funny but i like that people down here have have a lot of of their own sense of style. You know, it's oh, a yeah. very creative community. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to see. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye because dinner is ready. It's ready. All right. Honey, happy, happy Hi. birthday. Thank you. Thank you, and Thank you everybody. Bye, for Kenny. Coming. And Rosaline, see Bye. you soon. Yeah. Come see back. you soon on Zoom. I hope so. have, I hope let's so. have a Zoom soon. We will. Zoom soon. soon. Definitely. Zoom, zoom, okay. Zoom. okay. And nice to meet all of you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. How do I do it? We spent, we spent a couple of weeks in San Miguel and really loved it. Yeah. Uh, in 2018. Oh, come back, please. Yes, we'd yeah. like to. We, uh, we have a friend there who would like to reconnect with you again, Maria Camille, Deborah. Oh, um, yes. I, I, I would love to see her again. We only met once, oh, and I'm very interested in what she's doing, and I'd like to, to meet with her again. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, because we just talked to her yesterday. And I'm building a house outside of town, a community, a half an hour outside of town. Oh, wow. Along the road where all the hot springs are. So the community wow. has three swimming pools, including that. a lap pool, and they're all thermal. Wow. Wow. Oh, I've got a guest room for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> I have a very close friend, Bobby Van, living in San Miguel. Yeah. Everybody knows Bobby Van. Everybody knows Bobby Van. Everybody in He's New York. He's a very City. close friend since 20 years. It's crazy. Everybody everywhere. Well, we, I, mean, we, I met her in New York because somebody said, 
that she, no, I met somebody in New York who knew her down here. I don't think I met her actually in New York. Oh, I think you I met never, you, you met, did you meet her in San Miguel? Oh, yes, I know, I know her quite well now, but, um, but I was really? just stunned at how many people before I moved down here said, you have to look up Bobby Finn. <laughs> yeah, which we did too, right? We hooked you yes. up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll talk to her in 10 minutes. She's oh. in New York. Oh, you Where okay. is she? She's not here, is she? In New York. No, she's in New York. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, no, she was traveling. Yeah. But uh, it, this Miguel place is a little bit like Place de la Concorde, you know, it's like everybody <laughs> comes through at some point. Place de la Concorde. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've been there too. Yeah, I, yeah, I spent a couple of years there. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, once my house is, is built around, it's going to be finished around the, uh, the end of the year. Wow. Then everybody's welcome because I'll have a guest room and, and yeah, I'm going to have We tell people now. never to invite us if you're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> my door is open. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. We know you mean it. <laughs> yeah. So we might end up there. All right, friends. So this has been a delight. I personally have just loved this, just seeing this interaction among so much of our tribe who have met each other perhaps tonight for the first time. Yeah. Really and Janice, did Pleasure. you tell us what your favorite bug is, Janice? You're it's, on mute. It's, it's the muted. It's the muted. No, I never got to do that because just as we got on, you shocked my mother so much. It took up over the conversation. But I have several and I do have a special connection with the dragonfly. They show up and land on me and they I, um, have a very special connection with the dragonfly and the butterfly. Um, as far as bugs I don't like. I did wake up to a scorpion twice in my bed when I lived in Tex in Austin and I was lucky enough to um, evade it. I didn't kill it but I did put a glass jar over it stayed there long enough for me to put a glass jar over it and throw it off the balcony but um, I don't want to experience any of those big bad biting bugs. <laughs> <laughs> had biting bugs. Connie was bitten. I also, you know what else? I really can't stand the centipedes. Centipedes, yeah, they are right. Centipedes, up. really? Oh, yes, they have all those, you know, hundreds of legs. They just I think they're cute. Or, no, or the, <laughs> you know, they have, in Texas, again, they have the tree roach. They're this, like this big. And if you step on them, they make the most horrible crunching sound. Oh. Just, yeah, you just don't want to step on them and you don't want to be near them anyway. Mm. But yeah, I would say, you know, dragonfly because they are really about the illusion and um, they're about change and transformation and adaptability and self-realization and they show up for me at special times with their well, iridescent. That's, that's what you're all about, my darling. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite yeah. pictures, and it's funny because I just reconnected with this woman. Is I was floating around on her pool and this in her pool in Princeton, and this dragonfly kept following me wherever I was in the pool, and it landed on my toe if I got off out of the pool, it landed on my shoulder. Oh, wow. I have a beautiful picture of it on the edge of my painted toenail. <laughs> and it just hung out there as I, you know, moved around the pool. And I don't know if I was in a tire or one of those floatables or whatever, but yeah. Good story. Did any of you see the Kevin Costner movie called Dragonfly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really important movie. I love that movie. It got terrible reviews. So on Rotten Tomatoes, the reviews part is like a seven, which is like almost zero. And the public part is like 60 something. The public liked it. Yeah, huh. great, great movie. But I I need to, so many great I need movies. to see it? Is that one that I need to see? I think you would enjoy it. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's an important movie. So it. many yeah. of those movies are so important. It's very moving and, it, you know, lovely. Okay. So, somebody. All right, happy birthday, Connie. Well, guess what? Here comes a friend. 
Maria Snyder. Mm. Oh, do you know Maria Janice? We met her at our day. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. I have to go, but um, okay. So I have to go attend to Mama. Okay. Um, Good night, Janice. Thank I you. want to wish you a very special, special birthday, and I wish you a miracle when you least expect it. <laughs> oh yes, well, I expect miracles always. But yeah. that's going to be one to fill in the gap. One to fill in the gap. So yeah, thank I was you. just about to use that language, one to fill in the gap. There yeah. you, there you go. go. Thanks, Janice. Great to meet you. Love you, Janice. Goodbye. Lots of love. Uh, good to see those of you whom I know and to meet those of you that I'm meeting for the first time. I hope to see you all in San Miguel. <laughs> we are all family. So thank you for coming, Deborah. Bye bye. You. Happy birthday. Bye bye. bye. So nice to see meet Deborah. you, Janice. Bye. Bye, Bye, Sharon. Bye. Nice to meet you. So, Maria, are you here? Bye. Maria, Maria. Like Maria might be dropping in. Maria, Maria, are you coming? Sharon is leaving, I think. Are you leaving, Sharon? I don't need to leave. Do you I'm know Maria? Me. We met Maria at our day. So here we have a few our day folks. Yeah, she has echo. Them. She has echo boys and girls. She has a uh, echo, um, echo, echo, echo boys and girls, and she has an echo brand or something. Maria, are you there? Hi, honey. Happy birthday! Thank you. Are we gonna I'm get so to you? Oh, uh, you know what, darling? My this thing is not working. Uh, uh, properly and but happy happy birthday to you hello andrew happy birthday connie i'm, I'm happy i got even in on the tail end so Thank um you. yeah hello 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 yeah we have some r day people here uh can you see the screen can you see people I, you know what honey i can see the screen i can see what is there i can see there's a couple people on right yeah, Mary Catherine and Stephen Conger from Aspen. And our day and, and Sharon our day London. And Sharon also London. From our day. So all of us actually have spent time at our day in Aspen. Yeah. yeah. Oh my, isn't that wonderful? So um, you have your Echo Boys and Girls and you have an Echo brand of some sort. Yeah, I have a couple of different um, environmental um, organizations. One for, it's for teen teens it's kind of around energy anyway it's called e-force and the eco boys and girls is for the younger kids and the e-brands is you know the the um kind of the anyway the fashion but enough about me it's really your birthday and your day how are you guys doing we're doing great andrew just finished his um experiment with the carbon capture module today how did it go how did it go andrew you know, I think it went very well, and I can't really answer the question until the samples, the results come back from the lab who are going to analyze what we did. So oh, I that's don't know what I did, but it just looks like a, a clear liquid at the moment. But I think that clear right. liquid is actually carbon from the atmosphere captured through the machine. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's been testing the pH and watching the pH go down as the carbon uh, enters into the solution. Mm -hmm. So he's thrilled. Are you thrilled? I'm pretty thrilled. I'm pretty pleased. Stephen, that's what I've been up to, that thing that I've been talking to you for years about. Yeah, yeah no, I'm glad you... Mm -hmm. I finally built one and I've been running chemistry tests on it for the last 10 days. Yeah. So it's always great to build stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It's only been high for so long, and then you want to build it. Teaches you so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How are your How are your things going? Uh, Mary, do you want to tell us? Well, miracles are happening. Yeah, why don't you tell the story? <laughs> tell us. Tell us what exactly you do. When were you last here? We were there in was it the spring, and there was a serious. Um, evolution happening in Hawaii with the um, the Hawaii airport and that beautiful installation there. That's what is uppermost in my mind. So yeah. So tell tell the other folks what it is you do or have done or in the process of. Well, we Mary Catherine and I started a company called P4P Energy, and it's uh, the core mission is to build sustainable structures that support humanity. 
We have 50 patents on cable tension structures that can be used in all sorts of ways. And the miracle is we've had the technology and we're bringing five products to market and we're having, uh, we're working with companies to do a project in uh, potentially in India uh, over a pond, uh, potentially over, a, we've made proposals for these projects over a rail yard in Portugal, uh, over uh, locomotive parking. Anyway, so different uses. And uh, so we had the product in, but then this team has emerged just in the last couple of months, this unbelievable team. So Mary had a new tell the team part. Well, but, but what do they do? What are these tensile yeah. structures? So the team, well, the team. No, it's the structure. What do the structures do? Uh, with, uh, with stru uh, oh, the structures, I'll get What it is, what is it? <laughs> so I, I'm, I lost the train, but anyway, so the, we, we, we're bringing these five they're products. Solar. They're solar. They support, yeah. solar, they support <laughs> arrays of solar panels, do yeah, they no, not? Solar canopy. <laughs> yes. So, I must be tired at the end of the week. With <laughs> these big solar uh, canopies, solar supported by cable tension structures. And ah, they, there. Yes. Okay. So they're beautiful. They're really elegant. And so we have, we have just all these projects people wanting us to do without any marketing or anything. And we're not quite productized on all the products, but we can still do projects. To, and uh, oh, one of the exciting things is, have you, did you read those articles about covering the California Canal? Yes. Yeah. So the, the professors at Merced, the University of California Merced, and uh, people that paid for their research, uh, we're working with them. And we have MOU and we're, designing in Turlock uh, a demonstration over a 50 foot canal and over a 20 foot canal. Uh, and it's gonna, it's all gonna be sort of warm ups for covering the California state water project. And so that's- Duck system, yeah, which is- Yeah, system. Yeah. system. And so the, and the state's involved and the utility is involved. And so, uh, you know, we never know where things are going, but we're the people they they want to design these prototypes. So, yeah, you are uniquely positioned to do that work from from what I understand. So, congratulations, that's coming on. Yeah, yeah so it's it's getting exciting, and we so we had the several more team members coming on. They're all super strong, from uh, chief operation officer types to uh, product development, uh, to woman who worked in utility and knows how to organize and run things. I mean, it was like six or seven people like that have showed up to. Well, you deserve it. You've really- You've worked really you've hard. Worked you guys so have put your oh you put everything on the line, haven't you? It's like a friggin' miracle to have this team yeah. arrive. <laughs> it's like, talk I mean, about it's, miracle. They're the right people at the right time yeah. to yeah. take the company out into yeah. the world now. Wow, so happy for you. And Sounds very congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. And Maria's doing a lot of great work out in the world as well. Well, thank you. We're getting it there. I'm taking too much of a break right now because I'm doing a little bit of a renovation restoration. But um, I'm really looking forward to getting back into my, you know, more of the, my, my work again after hopefully in another two or three weeks, I will be done. Yeah, you know, I don't know if anybody's probably you've all been involved in re restoring, renovating some kind of a building. Boy, it takes it takes it takes control of your life. Even if you're not doing it, you have to watch over people. It's um, anyway. Yeah, yes, she's in does. she's in Portland, Maine. Her mm -hmm. her her father was your father or grandfather was significant player in redoing Portland, Maine back in the when in the sixties. Well, it was my dad. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, it was a little bit before, but yes, yeah, yes, you know, in the uh, the old port and 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 kind of beyond, you know, the greater Portland area. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great, it's a town. I don't know how much longer. Okay. Here's yeah. my, here's, here's my grand, granddaughter wishing me a happy Logan birthday. In. Hey, Logan. Oh. 
No, so I'll get over and you guys can talk for a second. Hey, Logan. Hello. Isn't that adorable? That's on the phone. Now, Andrew, is that is that your is that the workspace right there behind you? This is a place that I designed and built this very beautiful um, seven bedroom, six and a half bath artists um, phenomenal facility in um, in West Hampton, in the Hampton. And she's such a good, in fact, she was on the call until a couple of minutes ago. She just left a call. She's a Belgian, really well-known Belgian painter. And yeah, so we're sitting in the studio that I designed and built for her. Um, yeah. Beautiful. It looks beautiful in the background. Where is she now? Is she there as well? She is. She's in the other end of the building. So this is very much Maria. I hadn't realized it, but it's like one of those main buildings where you have the, you know, the big house, the house. Yeah. And you have the barn and then you have a connector building. And I designed something exactly like that. And we're in the studio. There would be the barn. That's this wonderful um, well, on this wall up here, one of, the, one of the few specs she gave me is that it had to have a wall that was 22 feet high by 16 feet wide for a, oh, one of her paintings that wow. was in Mexico City at the Bicentennial, or the, yeah, the Bicentennial of, the, of Mexico. So yeah, this is um, our home from home in the Hamptons. How wonderful. I'd love to see her work one of these days. What's her name again? Rosaline Kerner. We'll send you a link. Oh, I'd love to see it. She's really quite, look, here's a piece. Are you looking at these pictures here? Jesus Christ, he says. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Out of these paper little handmade things that are then assembled into these yeah. collages and ensembles. Beautiful. That's beautiful. And she had a strong African connection. Her husband was Senegalese. So, and their daughter was my daughter's best friend at high school here in the Hamptons. And uh, so her color sensibility is very, very exuberant African, just deep, saturated, oh, intense really? colors, just so delightful. What is it? Wonderful. Wow. That's very exciting. So you guys are having exciting days. And I guess uh, um, Mary, her partner there, are, are doing some wonderful things as well with uh, all the products coming out. I didn't fully understand that last part, Maria. Oh, I was just saying it, and uh, I'm looking also at Mary and her, and oh, her. Mary and Steve, Mary uh, Catherine and Stephen. Yes, their their work is quite. Ex I love these guys. We always get together with them whenever we're in Aspen. Oh, they're doing, Aspen. They've been working really hard for a long time, and I think it looks like they're ready for breakthrough time. It, yeah, it takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Finally. Yeah, the flow is starting mm -hmm. to flow here. So. And Steve and I love, I love the team that showed up too. There, it, it's they have all have a real sense of purpose and resolve, and are going to just get it done no matter what kind of energies, which is nice. have a, yeah, have a really well, good team as the well, best. they're just they have the heart. Yeah. you know, they're coming into it with their heart. They've got the skills. But the heart's there. That's what matters. The heart is energy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The heart, energy, and action. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, That's right. what I've been waiting for for 10 years. We've been through a lot of people. <laughs> and um, it's it really is like a miracle. It's just amazing. Yeah. Like I say, it takes a village, doesn't it? But, you know, it can be a small village, but it takes a small village, you know? But it takes a bunch of it takes more people than us, that's for sure. Well, they're younger and they're on fire. <laughs> that's right. You know, and they really want to make a difference. They want to help the planet. Well, and they're almost all Marines, which is interesting. That's what's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So they're like, but they're Marines with heart and they have just uh unbelievable execution skills like get it done kind of it's really impressive to see how they just get stuff done they're not intimidated by anything that's right they're not intimidated now mainly in solar or you said there's all kinds of different products but we we build these solar systems that can be integrated with agriculture they can be uh we're doing a demonstration canal cover in Turlock, California, a couple of those. 
Uh, so we, you can do all sorts of things with the product. You can, since we can do long spans and it uses less steel, we can integrate it with pretty much any use that land has. So you don't need to go into undisturbed land. There's plenty of disturbed land to put systems on. It's one, of the, one point. So anyway, it's, and it's just exciting to have a team that can really take it out into the world in a way. We, I can do the design and, and technology part, but I can't, I'm not the guy to do what they can do. And it's really wonderful to see them go for it. Well, that, you can tell Connie that I, that's what I was saying all spring is that we took the company to this point where the products are pretty much ready to go to market. And we both knew that we weren't the ones to do it, you know? And it's like, we've got this whole thing packaged and I just was ready to say here to the people that were willing to do it. And then they showed up. So yeah. it's, well, that, that's, that's, that's a nice synchronicity, isn't it? I guess it's like the universe is saying something pretty important. Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys is, uh, he's in the reserves. He's the head of innovation uh, for the Marines. And the, he was in innovation when he was in the Marines and he's head of innovation when he's out um, as part of the reserves. And, and he was looking at 200 companies and things and he's in their innovation program and he's working with us. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. He's, these are the kind of people that are showing up. That so it, it is truly a miracle. Wow! Yeah. Well, that's fabulous. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it's amazing that the the government, you know, I mean, the Marines or which other which other area of the government are really, you know, ones that have have uh, you know started so much innovation. I mean, even really the internet, isn't it? So right. you know. That's right. And they think in systems. So what we do are big systems, and they think in systems. Uh, of course. So anyway, it's it's fine. It's starting to be fun. It was a little hard there for a while, but anyway. <laughs> so it's so what a great treat to meet your friends, uh, Connie and Andrew. This is exciting. Yeah, Connie got Connie got called aside by her. 11 year old granddaughter checking in on Nana. So. That's understandable. Oh, wow. yeah. That's important. Yeah. That's, well, I'm going to say um, a very happy birthday, uh, um, um, Andrew, to Connie, and yeah. wonderful to meet you both. Yeah. Um, and um, I'm sending you all my love. Thank you, Maria. Many yeah. blessings. Hold to on. You. I'm yeah. coming back. To Connie's say coming back. Uh, yeah. Let me know. Let me know, Andrew, when you get more news about, um, you know, what would the results? I'd love to hear. Yeah, we want the results, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> Maria, so happy you could join us. We will love you either way, whether it works or doesn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's right. a lot and seems to be working, but I'm also learning a lot of stuff I didn't know, which is great. Yeah. That's happy why you birthday, do it. That's, Thank that's you. That's how it works. Yeah. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> thanks for coming on board, Maria. Well, thanks Bye. for your love. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, what a great birthday party. Oh, Maria, what's your favorite bug? Oh, my favorite. Oh, my God. I know that was a great question. I think the ladybug. The yeah. ladybug. Yeah. ladybug. Yeah. 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 What's your least favorite? Oh, my God. I didn't think. Maybe the praying mantis. <gasps> oh, okay. This is shocking. Because it bites the head off its mate? I the think least? maybe so. You know, one of them is about love and the other one is about the kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I, I, whole think bang. Little, I think it's good to have a little bit of both in different areas, but you know, that just came, I saw, of course, in that text and I didn't think too much about it, but then when you asked me, it's funny, it, those just came to me. How, how about yourself? I mean, what, is, what is Connie's favorite? And least. Well, my favorite, I said it's the Jesus bug. The, oh, the one who the walks, one who on, walks water. on water. That's the one who scoots cool. around on top of the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh. I know. Yeah, those are cool, yeah. I like and my least favorite? My least favorite? Um, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Go with the least favorite. I don't know if I have a. How about those black flies? You love those black oh, flies. Oh, the black flies, but <laughs> everything just is. You know. Mm. I don't know. I guess you know ticks are, are are the the most challenging, but for me everything serves a purpose. So right. I I have to acknowledge that somehow somewhere everything serves the divine purpose. So how right. can I? Can well, I must say, through. probably ticks would be up there for me too. Is it's the worst, you know, the least favorite. No. So, well, oh, anyway, I'm sign off. I send you guys my. Here's my favorite, Maria. You didn't hear my favorite, and I don't think anyone <laughs> else did. It's yep. the rhinoceros beetle. So go look up the. I grew up in Africa. The rhinoceros beetle is about. Oh yeah, I know they're beautiful. Do you know them? They're amazing. Yes, I do. Ah. They're amazing. They really are. They're amazing. There you and go. when they when they have their big fights, they're amazing too. It's quite remarkable. <laughs> there you go. Now you can go. <laughs> okay. Bye, Maria. Bye, Maria. Oh, bye. Can I talk to you guys soon. Let me know. Keep me updated. Let me know, darling. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Just see how rhinoceros beetle. Rhinoceros beetle. Well, it's great to see you guys. Spend a little time together. How's your new puppy? Oh, your she's, little white puppy. Um, yeah. She's not a little puppy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> little puppy, yeah. Where's that puppy? There you are. Oh, there, there you are. You What's his name? It's her name is Faith. Her name. Right. Whoops. It's hard to for me. <laughs> she working out for you? You just loving her to death? Hello. Um, there you are. Great. What kind is she? Golden Doodle. Golden, a golden doodle. doodle looks like oh. a white. Well, doodle. I mean, we can't pick her up anymore and hold her in our hand, <laughs> in our arms, like when you were here. She pounds. No. Yeah. She looks almost like a sheep. She's right. No, she's, she's been great. So when are you coming back this way? Mm, end of the year, sometime. We're kind of on the coast of Thanksgiving. We think. Okay. Yeah, we'll be here till Thanksgiving. We've been tracking the Delta variant and seeing whether that's something we need to take into account. <laughs> and Sunrise Ranch has been getting slammed with uh, with COVID. So. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Garfield yeah. County isn't that great either. I and just I read something where we got written up as one of the worst spots in the nation. Yeah. <laughs> Pitkin County. Pitkin County. Garfield. Garfield. Oh, Garfield. We have a really yeah. low vaccine rate too. Right. So it's it's the oil and gas part of um, Garfield. I mean, we're we haven't we really don't leave our little River Valley Ranch bubble right. that much. So I'm just not I'm not even really aware of what's going on. I just happened to get an email today and I was reading about it. Right. Well, you're looking beautiful. Yeah. As usual. <laughs> That's right. She well, has and happy birthday. Did you guys coordinate your outfits tonight? Oh. Party. <laughs> so we'll be a little colorful, you know? That's yeah. his favorite party shirt. And this I got in San Cristobal. I love it. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. So so do you know Sharon, do you know these guys? Stephen and, you and might Greg? Have yeah. very familiar, probably from our day. From our day. Um, I don't know that we've talked, but I feel like we've seen each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I get the same feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really great. I love the small world on here too. Like Deborah wrote to me, like, "Oh my gosh, Sharon, nice to nice to see you." I I met her in Seoul, South Korea. Oh no! Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, we were randomly put together as roommates. Mm -hmm. Oh so, my god, that's insane. That's crazy. yeah. Yeah. And Janice, I met at Clinton Global Initiative in New York originally. And then I, I saw her at our day, of course. So, and Myrna is the one who's like, hey, in case you don't know, Connie's having a birthday party tonight on Zoom. Myrna, yeah. Myrna, Myrna said that and yeah. she didn't make it. She was going to try to make it. Mm -hmm. I, she was, but she wanted, but it was nice that she informed me because I hadn't been checking Facebook, so I wouldn't have seen it. So that was great. Yeah, I'm so yeah. glad. It's great to see you, sweetie. So that great was to a see good you. Good idea to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. that's this is one of the side mm -hmm. benefits of everything is the, you know, being able to gather like this. Absolutely. Celebrate your birthday with you if it weren't for COVID. That's <laughs> well, yeah. it's it's huge. I mean, it's not just a side benefit, it's part it's of essential. this process of the human family coming together and like 
people coming together and connectivity and, and doing this job that we've got to do with this, this coming to oneness consciousness and all that. So it's, it's all part of the plan. It's so great. Well, I'm glad I stumbled on the posting as well. So that was... Look, Ariana's back. They're going to sing us a song if anybody sticks around. Oh, is that okay? I wish I could, but I'm at one percent and I'm plugged in, and I'll oh, stay on until I go out. All right. Hey, Ariana, well, you Sharon, guys. If, if we if we lose you, we lose you. We love you. Yeah. Lots of Great love and happy birthday, and wishing all the best. And Thank I'm. You. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. There's Ariana. Just at home, so Randall's got to get his guitar tuned up to sing you a song. So, all right, oh, that's we're we're, you're still here, you're still partying <laughs> on. Hey, grab a guitar, this guy's, this for guy's the song. <laughs> <laughs> These guys showed us such a wonderful three days in Tucson. Mm, yeah, that was so much fun. We met them online on Zoom. Oh, really? Oh, God, we did meet on Zoom, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and Ariana is very knowledgeable about quantum science and unified physics and all that good stuff. So we resonate on that level. I know. I should send you the the links. I just had a half hour talk with Nasim. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we girl. Did, you know, he was doing a Q and A, and you know how he usually does the question, and somebody asks a question, and he just goes off on a dissertation for a half hour. <laughs> Uh -huh. No, I get on and I was like a dog with a bone. I mean, it was like, <laughs> no, you're not getting away from me. <laughs> what about this? What about that? <laughs> well, how about that? On Wednesday? Was it just this Wednesday? Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. I have it recorded though. So uh, oh, and Mary, I'd love to hear it. Stephen and Mary Catherine, do you know what we're talking about? Nassim Haramin, do you know who that is? No, okay. no. Amazing breakthrough, uh, unified physics, just to the cutting edge of physics right now, this man, he's extraordinary. And he has a course, a free course, online course at resonancescience.org. And it's, it's, it's proving what the indigenous peoples have known all this time. It's, it's proving the, the sacredness and oneness of all life and the interconnectedness and the holographic nature and the fractal nature and all that, right, <laughs> Oriana? Yeah, something like that. You can't yeah, prove the sacredness, but... Yeah, but I, then I also did <clears throat> a Q and A with uh, William Brown and Dr. Inez. Yeah, they're amazing. They're on yeah. their faculty. Yeah, their faculty. So I got another half hour with them. So that was that was fun. That was good. So I have both those recorded. I'll send you. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah, with William especially, you know, because he's the biophysicist, so I could talk biochemistry directly with him and check out all these inner workings that I was sensing is how about this? Is it like this? How does it read the biophoton field? He was into it. So it was good. <laughs> yeah. right, send us that, please. That'd be wonderful. I've been so just tied up with this, this prototype and then testing it. And it's just kept me every time I look around and go, oh man, I missed yet another one of whatever it was. Resonance science Q and A and uh, live yeah. with this him. Yeah, and and other things as well that I really care about in the jazz. I, I got to spend a little time with Feynman, Richard Feynman. You did? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Yeah. That's was, amazing. The, the first time I met him, I was staying at John Lilly's house. I was living in my van outside John Lilly's house in yeah. Malibu. And uh, this guy came up the uh, road. I had no idea who it was. He had two drums. He handed me a drum. We went in the house and John was laid up with a collarbone, broken collarbone. So we played drums for three hours. And then he starts doing some weird chant and then it turns into, I want some orange juice. I want some orange juice. <laughs> anyway, and then I found out who it was. We went down to see his lectures after that. But so it was. That was Richard. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, he was really a character. Great. Some scientists, real. Wow, that's yeah. really neat. Yeah. Cool. I, I studied with that with Brian Green at Columbia University. You did from Fabric of the Cosmos. Oh yeah, tw it was ten years ago. 
Um, I met him in Aspen and I was already going to be taking classes with Bob Thurman at Columbia and he invited me to sit in, but he said I had to be at the whole class. So I had to move to New York at the drop of the hat, oh. but it was amazing. That's exciting. All right. We have quite a little uh, quaternity here. We have two couples and two singles. No, we have three singles and Sharon, you're the only, yes. Anyway, three couples. Hey, we've got four windows with this amazing group of people. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but Sharon, you're always reminding me of how magical a life you've lived. Oh, Sharon's amazing. You are amazing. Oh, I have to remind myself because my life is not magical right now. Oh. It's uh I actually just went with my friend today and you know, he was introducing me. It was his birthday too, oddly enough. Um, and he was like introducing me, but like Sharon is the most magical, spiritual, cosmic human being ever. And I'm like, I'm not lately. I just want you to be aware of that because you don't want to introduce me from my past. And he's like, you just need to tap in again. Maybe. So for everything, there is a season, right? Yeah. You know, I, that's literally what I've been saying. I'm like, you know, I've just been kind of like a plant during the winter, they're dormant, they're brooding in, um, they're not showing any fruit or leaves or greenery, they're just kind of there, and they're stagnant, and, but, you know, I like to look at it like roots, like, I am getting back to my roots, my, I'm here because my dad's dying, and right. my family needs help, and they're not very pleasant or spiritual, and they watch Fox News about 10 hours a day, and I'm not exaggerating. Oh, that's tough, that's that's hard. That's yeah. hard. It, it is. And, and at the fullest volume, I'm not living with them, but I'm like, please, I'm begging you to turn the volume down. Like I cannot hear. And it's so loud and angry. Oh. And it's just, it's really hard to be here. And they just sold their house like two and a half days ago. Um, and I'm so ready to not be here anymore, but I don't know what, I don't know what direction. Um, and usually I have these like divine synchronicities show up and I float off to my next location and then I end up you know, doing all these magical things I do and it's just not happening right now. So I'm just like laying low and regrouping and I went on, I started a cleanse today and I'm doing like no sugar, no coffee, no fruit, all just vegetables and um, just, re, you know, recalibrating. Sweet. So, well trust truly rely upon spirit timing really and i think that perhaps um randall's ready for a, are you randall are you ready to uh, turn up that marshall stack to 11 and blow the roof off <laughs> there he is look at that there he there is, is. look at that i've got the uh, i'm all marshall marshally stacked up uh, marshally stacked <laughs> i stacked <laughs> marshally stacked this guy's voice. <laughs> I did it. I know it. <laughs> well, it is a very special person's birthday today. I'm honored and humble to be in your presence to celebrate and share this moment with you and all the others that are present as well. And how could anyone ever tell you you were anything less than beautiful? How could anyone ever tell you less than whole how could anyone fail to notice your love is such a miracle how deeply you are in our soul Ever 
tell you you were less than whole. How could anyone fail to notice your loving's a miracle? How deeply we're connected. How deeply we're connected How deeply we're connected In our souls Darn it! Beautiful! Randall, thank wow, you. Wow, Randall. Connie, what a blessing that was. Wow, Connie, what a beautiful voice you have. Connie is now officially blessed. <laughs> that was a special blessing for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is Did you write that or is that a song? Did you no, write that, is a, that is a song by Libby Roderick as the artist that performed that originally. Mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful song beautiful. and very so appropriate. Song. Um, and it's on an album that's songs for the inner child. Oh. I don't know if it's the person who wrote the song. Um, that is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Songs for the inner child. Mm -hmm. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you for so, blessing us. Obviously a fan of the song. I was able to feel the energy. You loved it coming across. <laughs> and it also sounded so, I mean, here we are on Zoom and it just, the quality came across. Oh, wow. Really just perfect, pristine. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. in the room with you. Yeah, that's right. Seriously. Did did he did he sing songs for us before? I don't remember. Sang at the uh, karaoke. I know, but did did, that, did, but did, you, I, did he get I'm, out? I'm not sure you sang us a song when we were together, did you? Oh, you didn't get your guitar out. I, I, no. I, I do not know if I had. We were we were on a whirlwind tour going to all the places. <laughs> we were, and I don't necessarily know if we had the opportunity to be able to sit down. Um, you know, between the meals being prepared and all the, you know, transportations and all the places that we were going to just to really have a great time. The energy was just flowing. I don't necessarily know if we had the opportunity to just sit yeah. down. I don't and, think so. I have experienced that. We're just wow. going we're just gonna to have to come on back. That's all there is to That's it. That's all there is to it. Oh, darn. <laughs> he's a great cook, this Randall. Oh, he's a master chef. And that's his, oh, thank you. one of your favorite things is just feeding people, isn't it? I love it. Yes, it's one of my passions. In fact, we have a, we have a, a, a well, it's not a dinner, <laughs> dinner party. party. It's going to be a potluck. What we have another group, uh, the first Saturday of each month is, uh, is a dinner party that we we host and we have other beautiful spirits come in and uh, I just enjoy putting on uh, just really nice healthy organic vegetarian meals for everybody so it just it's tomorrow a night is that tomorrow night yes yeah, yeah. Can, can you make it you're invited <laughs> <laughs> one of these first Saturdays we we'll have a there. Belgian evening tomorrow night and night. Our hostess here is Belgian and two of her Belgian friends, this couple are coming over and we're going to have a next phase of Connie's birthday week. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, I so enjoyed your beautiful voice. And yeah. Oh, oh, thank yeah. you so much. I mean, that was a beautiful rendition of it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you. I received that very humbly. Yeah, it was worth waiting for us to get home to a good internet connection to our that internet. Makes it, huge. it was <laughs> definitely worth it. It was sweet. From now, you were just out on the street there. What's that town called again? Tubac. Tubac. Yeah. Yeah, that little, that was little great. artist community, and <clears throat> so we were at the same restaurant that we had gone to before, where we were sitting out in the patio. It was great. lovely. Yeah. So, I haven't even had time to go through all the photography I did when I was with you guys. We did those three oh, days gosh. of shooting yeah. in black and white that are just beautiful. There's some real quality stuff there. The one that really stands out is that that, that old monastery that we went to. 
the monastery, yes, that's what a, tomb, what tomb a authority, and then we went to Tombstone, Arizona. Tombstone, I, Arizona. You have not, you don't know Wild West until you've been to Tombstone. Tombstone. Yep. <laughs> the shootout of the OK Corral. <laughs> the shootout of the OK Corral, that was something. Yep. And we went to Bi uh, Biosphere. And we went to Biosphere. That was the three, the three days. Each day was like a, a, a a whole different photographic shoot for me. One was the tech thing of Biosphere, which is wonderful. Have you been there? Stephen and Margaret. I've, I haven't been there. I've seen I've seen the pictures. Pretty amazing pictures. Yeah. We went specifically because they had developed an agrivoltaic project there. They'd done it in the University of Arizona had done a, an experiment. And then we get back to Boulder and find this one in Boulder that's a much better, much bigger, much more advanced since right there where we were when we left. So <laughs> really, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. So yeah. you're in Tucson? Yes. They're in Tucson, yeah. Okay, so the, um, I think you're, I don't know if it's the same place. When I was in Tucson, my friend took me, I mean, I think it was to the monastery um i wish i could remember the name of it is there just sort of one place well, in you're, tucson? no in tucson you're probably thinking of a, a really old church that's called san, um san, uh, it's called uh, san javier mission i think maybe that was it a big lot of people yeah building, big big old, big old white yeah. building from the 1800s yeah, yeah. that's san, san javier <laughs> yeah, mission we went but, there as well Right, um, and San Javier Mission is different. Uh, it's a little further south on the way to Mexico uh, that um, that Andrew is speaking to, where he took photos, which is uh, Tuma Kikori, which is a very historic uh, uh, place, very historic about the, the monuments that are down there. So it's okay. wonderful. What yeah, a wonderful photographic location. subject. I mean, every you can't go wrong. Just point your camera and click, and you've got an amazing photograph. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. I love places like that. Okay, well, well friends, what a treat, what a treat, what a treat. Awesome. Definitely a treat. <laughs> yes. What do you say? What'd you say? Definitely a treat. Happy birthday. Thank you for having a birthday so we can yeah. meet. Yeah, it was a treat. I thought you said go go plant a tree. Go plant a tree. No. <laughs> what a treat. <laughs> we can take instructions. We'll go plant a tree. <laughs> So we love you guys. Actually, you are two of our favorite couples. I will say that. So. <laughs> yeah, all right. Honestly. Maybe we all meet someday. That'd be yeah. Cool. Let's yeah. do that. So these guys are up in Aspen, Carbondale, Colorado. Oh, oh the nice. Rockies. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Look forward to your return to Colorado. Let us know when. Uh, yeah, well, we may be there in the holidays. We always come for the holidays. We often come for Christmas. Yeah. We always do to help with Logan, but she's twelve now. Yeah, she's getting. She's turning place. twelve she next really week. Doesn't need Nana as much as she used. Was, to. We were lucky. We had a job to do when she was young because mm -hmm. her parents worked during the holidays and everything. Oh, that's right. Okay. But now she's older, so we'll see. But she will always love her Nana. Oh yeah, we have a great relationship. I yeah. was with her in the hospital um, when she was born. Her dad, she was there, she was crying and, and her dad had to go be with her mother, his, her, you know, with Concy because she'd had newborn, a- newborn, abandoned little so, newborn in so, a bassinet. And I just held her, I just put my hands on her and held yeah. her and gave her skin contact. So she's damn lucky I was there, I'll tell you. Seriously. <laughs> no seriously the stupid the stupid medical stupid system really? leaving an infant a newborn infant alone yeah. you know yeah. my infants went from straight onto my onto my chest and never left my skin but Concy had a had a um, c-section you know they're doing all these c-sections and they didn't have a, a plan fortunately that they had they had let me they had said it's okay for me to come uh, Concy and John so I was there, so I could really give her that skin contact. So, and, and Woody Creek has shown up to give us housing ever since. Everyone in Woody Creek has given us housing at the holidays and everything so we could be with her all through till now.
they, they live in Woody Creek right behind the, the famous tavern, the Hunter S. Thompson famous tavern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've, yeah. we've been fortunate, she's been fortunate. So we'll carry on. Yeah, we'll track Carry back. on. Well, if you get that down. close, you're, you're not far from Tucson then. You could just pop on down and you sure. know, get a little sunshine during the winter. Yeah. <laughs> we, left, we, left, we left you and then we went to Southern California, went down to Connie's brother, who's close to San Diego, hit the coast, went up the coast, had just perfect timing, perfect experiences to Santa Cruz, where a lot unfolded for the climate project. And then we had a bail back for- um, No, and then Sacramento, back, where he Sacramento. connected with this amazing woman. In woman who's big in government from Washington to Sacramento to you know national, regional, local government expert who's now on our advisory board. So that's a good big deal. Nice. That was a very productive trip yeah, very for productive his climate trip. project. And yeah. we're, we're thinking we may end up back on the coast of um, California between Santa Cruz and San Francisco on that stretch up there. There's some organically certified land, farmland for lease. And we're looking to possibly build our, proto our prototype community, our eco village there. So we'll let you know. Well, it's that just goes. in very, very early stages of that. It is, but it could change in a minute. All we need is a, all we actually need is a little funding and we could get this happening. So we'll see. So who knows? Hmm? We'll let the magic. Yeah, the magic happens. You never know. You never know. I'm so happy for you guys that the magic is happening for you because you've given blood this whole yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> you, your home, you, you stayed in your home. You didn't have to give up your home through mortgaging it for something that didn't happen because now it's happening and you're still in your home. Yeah, so, they're like, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the one positive thing about the influx of everybody coming in and the prices shooting up. We were able to refinance. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right. So it flipped. You know, I had to sort of flip my thinking around everything because I've been really grieving about the change that's happening here. And I think it's happening everywhere. Um, you know, and I had to go, okay, well, we wouldn't have been able to do this if all these people hadn't been coming in and buying houses far above the um, price point for cash, but it helped us at this point in time. Yeah, really. Yeah, so you can look at all those people and bless them. Uh, yeah, no, I, it did flip it for me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good, man. Good. Okay. All right, we love you guys. Yes, Bye. love to you. Good to spend nice some good time with you. All. Thanks, you guys. Great to see you again. Happy birthday. Much love to you. Birthday, Connie. Thanks, what a sweetie. beautiful birthday party. Thank you, yeah. everybody. Yeah, yes. great fun. <laughs> I'll publish a tally of the bugs. <laughs> the bugs. <laughs> That's just one in a landslide. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.